Welcome to Friday! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles mm -hmm. in 60 frames a second. So make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. Get the microphone in closer. Yep. <laughs> Pretty far away. Uh, I'm James, as you can see. Yeah. And Tanya? Yes. And welcome to everybody who is watching and chatting in the chat forum there. Um, oh, let me bring my notes up. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to thank Mallard Games and RC70 mm -hmm. for chatting with us and joining us live today on Twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Fix, uh, Pack Rat VG, Mallard, uh, Games. Mallard Games, and everybody else who is uh, just sitting there silently waiting, watching, not saying anything. No. <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, who just today mm -hmm. has got his one year subscription oh, nice. logo. You can see it right Very there nice. beside and his hi, name. Hi, Mr. Fix. Hi, Mr. You Fix. Too. Long yeah. time supporter of the show. Lovely. Um, RC70, mm -hmm. who also is here, is uh, at, uh, what is he at? Mm -hmm. He's at seven months, so he's got the six month badge. Um, uh, Repentless VG Retro Happy Hour Scum Software Sir Catleg Spiceware S Ramirez 2008 and Tiki Dan Kane. You can support the show too. You can subscribe for free. Link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And we have three games today Yay! to play. Yay! I'm excited. Um, I know we played Galagon on Wednesday, but I also mm. wanted to play today with Tanya. Mm. Um, cause I know you like playing that game. I heard you played it and I was, I was very upset. Yeah. I'm like, what I do know. you mean you played it without me? <laughs> I know, but it was a new update and I really wanted to get it in there. I'm sure everybody. Erlin, you know, enjoyed yes, it. He and, did. Yeah. And we'll enjoy it again for a little yeah. bit. Um, and, uh, oh, also Splendid Nut has joined us mm -hmm. as well. Mallard Games is trying to watch, but apparently they're, uh, stuck on an in Xfinity ad yes. forever. I hate those. Sorry about that. Yeah. Maybe you'll get through it one of these days. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so we're going to be playing Galagon. We're going to be playing Mini Sokoban. Okay. And also we're going to try for the patch on Pressure Cooker. Okay. Which is made by Gary Kitchen. Very nice. Dan Kitchen's brother. Very nice. So maybe they'll join us. I didn't ask outright. <laughs> maybe it'll happen. Um... So not much mail news and feedback. We had a bunch last time because it was right after the uh, 12 the hour, hour Stellathon. Yeah, yep, yep. But I was thinking that since we're in the second half of the year now, we're kind of have to start gearing up for the 2019. <laughs> now that that event's over, we have to get ready for the next event. 2019 Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Um, so uh, I have to... Uh, myself and Brian Mathern have to start sorting out all the games mm -hmm. that have been released in the first half, you know, kind of get them organized. And then as we lead up to the end of the year, um, make sure we have covered all of the games that have been released, works in progress and full games. I know there's going to be a bunch mm -hmm. fully released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Very exciting. Yeah. That's always the big event mm -hmm. of, of the year for new releases, especially from Atari age. Um, and think about expanding a little bit into other Atari platforms, not like the full range of graphics and audio, mm -hmm. but just like best game of the year, because 2600 has so many releases. Mm -hmm. The other ones maybe deserve a little bit recognition as well. So you're thinking of, of looking at other platforms? Yeah, too. Atari 7800, mm -hmm. uh, 5200, and maybe the computer line of things mm -hmm. as well. Um, I would leave that up to other experts with shows that focus on that because <laughs> yeah. I know there are shows that do 7,800 oh, games really? oh, cool. yep. yeah. and people who do 5,200 like uh, YouTube shows as well. Oh, very nice. So they would be the experts yeah. on what has been released and what is the best. Very cool. Um, mm. So I think that would be nice just to cover maybe the full uh, range of Atari, um, Atari releases. And obviously we would focus on 2600 games here and most of the uh, the awards would be 2600 because there's so many games that are released for this for this platform so what do you guys think of um incorporating some of the other platforms in there so just let us know um i think it'd be a nice addition um so that's it for the, the mail news? news and feedback i didn't gather too you many. got it all out on wednesday I guess. yeah there yeah. was a lot yeah. we had a 
opened a little box of that uh, Galaga shadow box mm. item. I don't know oh, what yes. That is. Yeah, I don't still know where it is, had, but you did show it to still me. Still haven't had time to hang it up right above the light switch there. Oh. <laughs> just like right there, just yeah. above it, because it fits perfectly you, with you a little bit of space. You have pictures to put up here, too. I know. You and I so. have to put those up yeah. at some point. It's been very busy. Very, so. <laughs> very busy. Packrat says, do it. Okay, yeah, we'll yeah. do it. Just because you said so. Yeah. <laughs> so, um,. And Splendid Nut said, it'd be nice to see the other Atari 8-bit platforms get some showtime. Yeah. Well, it would be awards. We wouldn't be playing them on we the could, show. We couldn't. Uh, no. No? <laughs> no. Aww. no. It's too specialized. It is too specialized. <laughs> I, there's way too many 2600 games to branch out to mm. other other games, and I don't know enough about them. Obviously, I'd learn, but um, yeah, I don't have a modded 8-bit computer. I have the X, XEGS. Yeah. Um, I haven't really played my 5200 or 7800 in a long time. So, and I don't have the modded, so they'd look like garbage mm. broadcasting. Yeah, it's a big mess. I'm going to stick to the 2600 <laughs> and let the other people who are experts at the other systems do that. Okay. Because the 5200 is especially finicky. The oh, joysticks it? for it. Oh, okay. I do have adapters that work with the Genesis controller mm. for it. But anyway. I'll leave it to other people. So we're going to play Galagon first. Um, and uh, there's been some a bunch of updates, very minor ones, more like little tiny fixes, little tiny changes to make the experience just better okay. and closer to, to the, the arcade mm. or more fun as well. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get out my pressure cooker cartridge. So I may run to the other room and get a pressure cooker okay, cartridge while, some you're, point. while you're playing Galaga okay, at some enough. point. Fair enough. So we're going to switch over to Galagon. And uh, let me get this going. Oh, that's already going. Good. And switch over the television. And we're going to play some two-player off the top. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this works. That cartridge is pretty good. Now. Oh, I turned it off by pressing that other button. <laughs> Hooray! So which joystick do you want? Do you want the game pad That's or the... the game pad? Okay. I prefer this, actually, because... Do yeah, because I don't always sit with my legs level, so that makes sit, uh, using that awkward sometimes. There we go. That is not the right graphic. We're not playing Drone Wars. <gasps> We're playing Galadon. Actually, I still might have it here. Let's see. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, <laughs> I know where it is. It's the problem when you. There we go. You're both the Goodbye. control room and the person in front of the camera. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, we'll play... What, what's normal? Well, novice. novice... Oh, so we can both start? Yeah, yeah Novice yeah, yeah. allows you to both start at the same time. Which is fun. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. Even though someone usually dies pretty quickly, but that's okay. <laughs> but you can always <laughs> come back and you have to rescue other. the other person. Yeah. So one of my suggestions was it says player one, mm. and I think it should say players when you start with two people. Oh. Um, there, because there's other, other moments where you both start and it says player one or player two, but you're actually both playing. That should be a pretty simple fix. Just like... Can you get a double? No, no, no. So there's A no double point. double? <laughs> a double double. No, Have no. you tried? You can't. Um, oh. well, you know what? I haven't tried, but I am guessing that's a good thing to try. So, okay, well, let's not kill all these guys. Because we are testing the game. <laughs> Don't kill all the guys. Leave two. I'm not killing all the guys. All the Galagas. Leave them. Leave them be. Ah. <laughs> oh, there's no audio. No audio? No. Can you pause? I need Probably to not. fix it. Um, I can't really... Oh, you can pause. Okay. okay. That's awesome. I love that. <sighs> there you go. Should is it work. because you're a frame meister rebooted mm, yeah it could be yeah um sometimes it does funny things 
I'm just going to restart my capture card. Okay, you ready? Yep, there we go. Okay, so don't shoot the Galagas. No, they're not going to capture us. No? No. They're not doing it. The second one would have done it. As He's it came the second down. one. Yeah. yeah. The green guy. There okay. we go. Game sound is a bit quiet. Oh yeah, that's our room sound. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. I did glance over and notice it. Okay, get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all. Yes. Oh no! 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 One! <laughs> One! Oh, that was close. Okay. How's the sound now? Should be good. Maybe a little quiet. No, it's pretty good. Usually keep it about a third. Is that half? I knew a... that was gonna happen. Oh, I both died. <laughs> but Did we I... double come back? You, I died second, so you get to go. I'm player two, right? Yeah. You have to rescue me. Rescue me! How do I rescue? I have to, I have to get You have to get captured. Up. And then I rescue you, actually. So you have to get captured. Oh, have you I ever hit this. 40 on the show? Oh, definitely on the first. Maybe not two players yet. We haven't hit 40. But we, I've definitely hit 40 on the first. And probably second. I'm not a expert because you have to memorize the patterns coming in and i'm terrible at memorization get get in there get get yay that was not that was easy to get to <laughs> <laughs> your turn yep. save me yep save my shibby yep i will i won't shoot it i'll try not to shoot it <laughs> Sometimes it's not easy. Yes. come on there we go He, I, it's funny, the, the way they tumble is... Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The way they tumble is, makes it very difficult. Yeah. But that's the point. Um, he did seem to fix the... Um, oh, oh, God. The problem I had with the tumbling and the bullets coming down at the same time... Oh, Because okay. now the bullets don't come down at the same time. Which is right easier, me. but the tumble seems to be harder. Mm. So you trade off. But the bullets made it really hard. I think it's a bit, it's more fair. So now there's no lives left. Until we None? hit... Oh, 70, really? None? No, no, no reserves left. No. Used them all up. Too many deaths. You only have three in total? Or do you have them per person? No, three, three extras in total. For both players? Yes. I thought you had a, your own reserve for each player. Oh, no, no, no. no. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, gone. It's That's a cooperative sad. mode, not a two people together oh, I mode. I thought you still had your own. No, no, no. It's a uh, cumulative. Mm. Chance of me getting up to yeah. that amount with no lives and not double ship. Yeah, so you can't you can't get captured. No, I can't. You're dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> it's sad. It's always sad when you play a two-player game, and then the other player is just gone. Yeah. Oh, shot him too early. Good job. Thank you very much. Co-op looks great. It is yeah, great. Yeah, it's really, really fun. It's a really, really uh. good two-player game. It's a great addition to the normal Galaga mm -hmm. that he's put, that he's put in, making this game uh, a little special. No! <laughs> <laughs> you have to get ahead of him. Yeah. Sadly. Ah. Yeah, those guys go all the way back. There you go. So this is coming out on October 19th, 2019 at the Portland Retro cool. Gaming Expo. Very cool. If all goes well. Can't guarantee it, but it should all go well. He's very close to being done, I think. Oof. Yeah, that was close. close. And he's just down, like I was chatting with him, and, and I said, well, it looks like you aren't fixing ugh, mm. bugs anymore. Mm. You're you're just making improvements mm. to things. It's like there's no real errors in the game. There's no, no. glitches no, it, or it, anything it, it, it like that. No, it runs really well. We haven't had any And he added this. Issues. So player one, that's okay. my shots, 42%. Okay. And then it has, for both players, 41%. Oh. So we're very close. Yeah, yeah. good. Um... So, 
And it's a key. It's just a... That's our score together, so... Yeah. And I don't have the Atari box. Atari box. So... You can also... Mm -hmm. He's added... I don't think this was in here before. You can play the challenge mode in co-op mode. Oh, in co-op? Yes. How does that work? It's, you just do all the challenge stages together. Oh, I see. No, 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 no! <laughs> Oh! No! Those your guys side. are always hard. Your side. My side. Oh, you're too far. There. Did it. Almost. It's 39 Criticizing again? Me. You're too far. No, get I'm over there. Gonna... You get on your you side. Get over there. And he, cha he made it to your reserves. I think it's 38. Um, ah! If you get 38 or higher... You don't lose the double ship, you lose a reserve. Man. Oh no! Fail. We failed. <gasps> we got back. Because we got 20,000. I like the enemy uses top score space and bottom level space. Oh, now I'm gone. How did you die? Because we did poor, worse than 38. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna get these guys. <laughs> no. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> it's gonna be death to the end. And I oh, think it's my geez. turn. Because you'll lose your... <laughs> I don't know the patterns for these ones at all. No. <laughs> it doesn't help. That's kind of why this level is good. Because you get to practice these. The, the patterns. The patterns more directly. Jeez. Oh, that was terrible. Because before he made you lose your double ship. Yeah. To one and then you just, you're you, done. You're dead, yeah. But you have to get 38 or higher now. Yeah. I think it's me. Yeah. yeah. Play away. Yeah. No, I'm very dead as well. Definitely not going to get 38. No. I feel like I've ah. ever seen that challenge stage. No. I think they're well, new. I might have. I might have, but yeah. I think I got 38 though. So I'm gonna. Oh. Mm. I think you have to get 40 to get your double ship back again, mm. which is near impossible with just one ship. Yeah. Oh, and it alternates. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, because I die. That's one. What are these? Uh, they look like helicopters to me. I'm sure they have a name. Oh, good job. Good luck on that one. Oh, one more! Oh, oh my god, that was really good. Forget that. That was really close. I like that there. No, 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 no! Oh, off by a pixel. Uh. Uh, yeah, I have it on B. I really like the enemy uses the top score. Oh, yeah, Dif uh, difficulty A, no auto fire repeat. Plus, then you forgot, forget to put it back to B. Um, yeah, the, yeah. I, I like the, um, you just pressing it yourself. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Okay, so, um, I will put it on normal. You can play the one player. Mm -hmm. You probably don't want to do challenge mode. Mm -hmm. One player. Standard? Yeah, standard. That's normal. Um, so let me just read out some changes that he did. Change the order of enemies flying to ma in to match the arcade. So he, he does want to go for as close to the arcade as he can. And he's kind of... Uh, I mean, it is a little bit wider than high because the arcade is high. Um, vertical rather than horizontal. Co-op changes add a player message after the ship is captured. Fix the bug when your ship was killed during the rescue sequence and the wrong player took control of the next ship. Captured it so when a ship is destroyed and the other ship is captured, the captured ship is swapped with the ship that was destroyed. The captured player goes next. Uh -huh. Display shot hit ratio for both players at the end of the game, which we did see. Modified the turn and attack logic so half the time it will track to the right double ship if active. So because in the normal mode, when you're just playing by yourself, it's always going to go after you, right? 
But when you're playing co-op mode, there's two. Uh, well, yeah, at least I better than him. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Sir. Because <laughs> um, you're separate ships, so which which ones does do the enemies go after? So he split the time half and half. Mm. So sometimes he goes after one person, sometimes goes after the other. Like the co-op for challenge mode looks like a fun variation of the game. Yes. Very fun. It's very fun, and it gives a totally different challenge to it because well, hence the name. But well, because you have to really cooperate and coordinate. You have to know which size. side they goes they go out yeah. and come in on too, because sometimes you'll end up finishing off the guys that are coming in. Sometimes you'll have to start a attacking the guys that come in. And how far apart do you need to be? Do you want to be close? Good. Perfect timing. There's not many things left on the screen. Yeah, uh, modified challenge last. mode. You start with two ships because on challenge mode you used to start with one ship. Mm. And that was very hard and I'm glad he changed it. Uh, two reserves was one reserve, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, <sighs> I do that now too. But the arcade, he doesn't actually flip, does he? Uh, I haven't. When I played the arcade game, I don't think he flips around. I think he he just goes straight down. I think he does. Distracting me. <laughs> I'm missed, distracting I you. I missed my challenge mode. <laughs> you started the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, bonus ships are now awarded based on score. Regular as same as regular mode. So he, he put it so it's twenty thousand, seventy, and then seventy. Over seventy after that, I think. Uh, if you have double ships, perfect sc This is the big change. Perfect score, you don't lose a life. Um, oh, no change. Uh, and if you have only one ship, a perfect score will bring you back up to two ships. 38 or more, you lose one reserve, not one of the doubles. 30 or more, you lose one of the double ships. Less than 30, you lose both double ships. Glad he changed how you start with two ships in challenge mode. Yes, I think that's a really smart change. It's nice, yeah. yeah. Because by the time in you get to the third level... Oh, you... What? I ran into him. Oh, but you got the bonus. I know. <laughs> <laughs> because by the time you get to the third level in the normal game, you normally have two ships. So it's a natural to have two ships to start. Um... Change the title screen to Galagon, which was the biggest change. Well, biggest visual change. Um, and he renamed it back to his DOS version of Galaga because he uh, he originally made a Galaga port for DOS, mm. and that was the name of his uh, port for DOS. Mm. Uh, repeat fire response faster for difficulty A. Remove the 150 score during gameplay for killing a boss in formation. Moved enemies closer on the first wave of challenge stage, so I guess they were too far apart. Uh, changed the blue B loop pattern so it's not as low. Mm -hmm. Fixed a bug where you could change the skill level by pressing left or right on the credit screen. Mm. Don't play the flagship destroy sound after a thousand bonus points on the challenge stage. Stop the breathing sound when there are no, no ships left in formation. Increase the star blinking speed to get a better patch to the arcade. Add the sound effects for selecting skill. Fix sound effects for special ships to match the arcade. Scorpion, boss destroyed sound effects. Galaxian, boss hit once sound effects. And all other butterfly. Oh, it's a butterfly. That's what it is. The red enemy. The red enemy? It's, it's, not, it's not a helicopter. <laughs> oh. It's a butterfly. But it does look like spinning, spinning blades. Um, updated the ship position on rescue so it matches the start position of the ship during a level. Remove the score disappearing when fl enemies fly in from the top. So yes, the more the score is more persistent at the top there, which is nice mm -hmm. and more like um, more like, like the arcade. arcade. Yeah. yeah. So I know in the uh, in NES version, the scores are on the side. Um, because obviously on televisions there's more width than there is height. Um, but he went, which, which is nice to have, to have that visual that he went for. <sighs> Every time! Yeah, you have to be ahead of the guy. I know, it's really... It's hard. It's, I've it's, done it's it so a, many times It requires now. a lot of... Uh... <laughs> 
RC seventy is just che double checked. It does do the flip in the arcade, which I, I could thought swear it did. when we were playing it the other, we, we, when we were playing it on that huge screen when we were in uh, Las Vegas, mm -hmm. um, they had one of uh, we were at an arcade and they had one of those huge Massive. pixelated screens and we were playing Galaga on that. Had Miss Pac Man and Galaga. I, I do not recall it uh, flipping. It yeah, it doesn't just fly straight down. There's a little, no. there's a little yeah, flip but not to make it hard. Not continually though. It's I well every time it comes down it does. No, but not continually like this one goes flip. Flip, flip, no, 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 it doesn't. Just one yes, flip. It yes, one it does. Flip. No, nope. nope, lies, lies. <laughs> Just one flip. Lies. Whoa. That was close. That's very close. You don't have two Galagas. You, you shot them all. I know. You can't get captured. I know, it's okay. Next I'm time. kind of half listening to you and half oh, paying okay. attention, so. <laughs> I'm going to go get pressure cooker. Okay. Tanya told me that I should leave the room more. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I do not recall that. Well, during the 12 hour marathon. I, I was worried because you did not re leave the room at all and did not take a break for 12 hours. And I said, you you know, you have three other people in the room. You can leave the room from time to time. Of course, I left the room there and yeah. not a word was said. Hey, well, I did laugh at my terrible playing, but that's, that's about it. Yes. I didn't have anything to really add. <laughs> uh, S. Vermeer says, uh, looks very polished. Can't wait to pick this up at PRG. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I am not like a Galaga super, super expert on, you know, every movement of everything um but there's there's no there's no bugs left that i can find get in there where it's like something breaks the game or something weird is happening mm. now i haven't cleaned this maybe i should clean this while we're playing sure. i think so <laughs> he's taking my advice a little too strongly i think <laughs> Ship. All right. I'm usually a little more proficient at doing that. I will die almost immediately, though. <laughs> ah, of course. <laughs> almost immediately. So, I'm gonna clean this very ratty-looking version of pressure cooker. It's ter terrible. Um, isopropyl alcohol. Excellent. And cotton swabs. <laughs> Unnamed cotton swabs. Of course, you can see the name. Uh, S. Ramirez uh, said, Daryl and I played Galaga Pac Man on a huge screen last year at Houston Arcade uh, Expo. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I saw that post on the Atari Age forums. It was the same, the same kind of big, gigantic screen. It looked, it did look exactly the same. As Those that. are really cool. I, I like them. Oh yeah, yeah. Very. Um, oh, this is dirty. Glad I cleaned this. You can't hide how how this is bad you're playing. How bad you're playing. Or how good you're playing. Or yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was fun though. We, did we play some Pac-Man tune or, or did we just no, play Galaga? No, I think we just played just Galaga. Galaga because it wasn't. It was like a dollar. It was not cheap. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Was it a dollar no, or 50 cents? Uh, no, I, mean, I think dollar. it was a dollar, but everything's a dollar now. <laughs> yes. It's called inflation. It was, a big, it was a big game, so you have to pay for that. Or you have to pay for that while you're playing. No lives. No I double know, ship. Oh, terrible. What happened? Terrible. Level seven. I'm just barely staying alive. Well, at least you won't die in this level. Maybe very well, but yes. I'm scared of tipping this over. I can't really see it. Those screens are cool. Yes, they are very, very yeah. cool. Those Doesn't screens. everyone wish they had that in their living room? Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> it would be very cool. You could probably make one. When we go to Darcy's, we'll have to hook up the Atari mm. or the Retron 77 to his projector. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a He's projector a very big it. projector, yeah. Yeah, so he has a big huge wall to project on. Still won't guarantee this will work. Um and we'll have to play uh, Galaga. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. So it'd be, be even fun. bigger than the one in the arcade. Yeah. Well, the one in the arcade was kind of fun because because uh, it is all pixelated. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, like a big pixelated LED screen. It's like you can see the light bulbs as the pixels. Yeah. Because there's not was, many pixels. It was very cool. On the original Galaga, I think it's like 200 by 300 or 200, 240 by 300 or something like that. Like not many pixels. For crying out loud. <laughs> you done? <laughs> that should not over. have been. I should not have died there. Okay, I'm going to give some. I'm going to give one shot to this game. Okay. Can so I, I run out really quickly and come back? No. Out of wine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> oh. I'll be back. Right oh, you unscrewed this all, all the way. Okay. Let's give it a go. You should use that projector to do an MST. 3K like episode of Zero Page Homebrew. That would be funny. Like play the game in the background, or like actual do a movie, and comment on a movie with it, or just raz on video games <laughs> and complain how bad some video games are, or do voiceovers. It doesn't work too well with Atari games. There's not a lot of plot going on with Atari games. So you can make up too much. Even with, um, I think new games are really good for that. Like, if you look at PewDiePie's, um, oh my god, what did I just do? Hopefully, no, it's done. He's not coming back down. Oh, he is! Yay! There you go. Woo! Ca captured? Yep. Captured. Uh, RC70 says you should use that yes. projector to do an MS... I read that oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what Pretty he mad. means by that. I was trying to figure out whether... MST3K? He... Uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Ah, gotcha. But does he mean do it like with... Oh my god, I let it, but the, the stupid bullets <laughs> took too long to get up to him. And yeah. then... It oh, just... Oh, yeah, it happens. Oh. Uh, your silhouette's in front of the screen. RC while playing the video game? Yeah, while playing it. You know, you're mm. silhouetted and the game's oh. in the background. Yeah, that would be yeah, fun. That would be pretty that. fun. That would be interesting. Yeah. Darcy did want me to... Um, he suggested doing that. Yeah. Um, not that specifically, but playing the game. Doing a remote version of mm. the show. With but, him? Yeah, mm. at his place. Mm. But... This is a lot of equipment <laughs> yeah. that I have set up. Well, it's, it's deceptively a lot of oh my God, that's yeah. terrible. You Not you could attention. probably pare it down a bit though. Uh like yeah. not have the lights and things like that. Well yeah. I I could pack up the lights. But um actually the lights fit in a very small spot. Yeah, space. that wouldn't actually be. It's not really the lights. It's just uh, it's just a lot of annoyance <laughs> to pack all this up. We would have to play in his Retron 77, which would have an HDMI already, but I would have to make sure to bring... Oh, the Frame Meister? Terrible. Yeah, the Frame Meister to... Not the Frame Meister, because it's HDMI, but the Capture. Mm. And I'd have to make sure his computer was fast enough, mm. which I don't think he has a... He has a he's pretty, his no, he runs, pretty good, he runs actually. VR, so I'm pretty yeah, sure his he computer's does. really good. He does have a good... He has a very good computer. Like his, his desktop, but I think it... Ooh, I don't know about the computer's video card's very good. No, it has to be good to, to do VR. You need a really good video card. I know, but I don't know if OBS uses the video card or it uses the CPU. I'm sure it's... it's To, to do VR, he's going to have a pretty good... Both. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. He did buy it a few years ago now. It's not the latest version, but... No, he has a 1080 um, TI video card, for sure. Yeah. Um, you could scale it down. You could scale it down. Mm. But it's just, it's a huge annoyance. I have mm. to tear this apart. It could be done. I'd rather it not, let's say. Done. It could be done. It could be done, yes. Anything could be done. <laughs> it could be done. Not anything. Anything. <laughs> if you put your mind to it. Oh, oh wait, it switches. Come on. Let's go on this side. 
Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Shoot my ship and immediately die. And kill yourself in this. Uh, okay. I need to practice on those. Mm -hmm. I, I struggle with that. Terrible. I guess the reason why I think it continually anyway. it continually spins down. No, I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, That's do one. Terrible. More. But but I find I don't know I find that arcade is easier to shoot to yes, shoot your ship away. It is. So. It is slightly more challenging with this version. But I'm, it's not a it's not a critis, criticism at all. It's just it's it just is a harder. Difference. It is harder. It's definitely not as not as straightforward and easy. This is awesome though. Um, this is gonna be great at uh, in. Oh my god. A great release in Portland. Yeah. Ah! There's more, isn't there? No, there's no more. Oh no. <laughs> they all come at once. There's only four. No. So if you're trying to get the highest score possible, you would try to hit nothing when they come on screen and, and hit them all as they fall down? Um, I think you get the same points as they're flying in as you do when they are. When they fall, when, when they, they tumble. Fall. Yeah. Oh. What? Yeah, it happens. I thought you had to leave two. Oh. It came down and went back up and then came down again. I've never experienced that. Or maybe you shot one... I don't As know. it was coming down? No, I, I killed know. them all. Yeah, you're right. But and he went fair. down and stopped... I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Oof. Right so here. So challenging. Right here. Oof. Not right there. I guess he does only... He tumbles when he first comes down the screen. Yeah, just once. Just once. I thought he tumbled over He's on a different spot depending on where you are. Maybe. Because I moved to a position, then it's like, nope, not that position. Ugh. No. He does He does aim for you. Mm. So it's pointless trying to line yourself up. I don't try and do it right when he's at the bottom. There. That's not a bad... I think that's a, a good tactic, that's actually. That's a good tactic. Yeah. That's easy. I always die so quickly. You're such such a bigger target. Oh my God. You're such a bigger target <laughs> when you're when you're double ship. You are. It's it's just uh, yeah. It's Offensively good, but defensively bad. Terrible. Worse. Way worse. Way worse. Especially when they're when they're shooting a lot as they're as they're uh, tumbling down. Come get me. Again. <laughs> That's a bug. Arcade requires two of that type to capture. Yeah, I was going to ah, say. Yeah. Found a bug. <laughs> Thank you for confirming so that, excited. Mr. Fix. So excited about finding bugs. <laughs> well... You know, you don't want to release it with any yeah. bugs because people go, oh, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's... Oh, no, that was very good. Very lucky. I yeah. didn't really mean to do that, so... Let's see if I can keep it. Oh, I did, because I'm Challenge on the third mode? level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. These are the worst. You have to get that first guy. Oh, oh my god, that was terrible. Boo, 39. <laughs> I should not be getting 39 on the first level. Do, 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 do. So close to the bottom that you shot that. Nope. No. Wreck that. Yeah, Extra wreck points. That yeah, because I think you have to have one Galaga fly down. Oh. And go past, or at least mm. fly down, and then the second one that flies down is the one that works. But if you only have one left and only one ever flies down, that can't that can't work. Hey. 
Good job. Usually yeah, don't. Nice. I'm usually not able to get those. I always find I get a couple and then one goes back. I'm like, oh, I can never get all three immediately. That was a good way to do it. You kind of go over to them, wait till they start. Oh, I do have an extra one. This version is harder than the arcade, which is awesome. Yes, it is awesome. Why are you hashtagging <laughs> everything, Mr. Vex? <laughs> Hashtag this. Yay! Mm. It's a challenge thing? No. no. So long I can last. I don't know, I'm really off on playing Galaga today. I'm not doing well. Which is not good. Oh, oh sadness. See? Were you doing better on Wednesday? No. <laughs> I think I just haven't been playing it. Oh, oh no. it's like no, don't, too, don't go. Too, too uh, excited. Yeah. I have no more ships to give. Sorry, not yet. Not for a while. The iPad's doing that. <laughs> Blame it on the iPad. Ah. Thank you. Get oh, oh, those guys are hard. And they turn around and just go straight back. Yeah, those they don't last as long as the first no. wave ones that come in. They go all the way down. 28. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, it's not on. Let's screw that on. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry. It's a cat. Wants to come yeah. in here and spill alcohol yeah, over spill everything. Toxic alcohol. Could be worse things to spill on electronics. Well, yeah. yeah, actually, you're probably pretty safe with isopropyl alcohol. Maybe water would be better, or alcohol would be better. Alcohol would be better because it just not... evaporates. It doesn't uh, right. interact electrically with. Uh... I don't believe. I'm sure, it's still bad. No, I, I don't think. On electronics that are I, on. Uh, no, I, I don't think it's it, it's conductive though. Mm. So I don't think it's a problem like water is. It should be pretty pure, but anyway. Yeah. I digress. <laughs> All right, come on. Come back. There we go. Where's the Galaga frame? I don't see it. Or did you... Oh, no, no. It's going to be by my light switch. Oh, mm. It's going to mm -hmm. be by my light switch, which is well out of frame. I'm going to be putting those other two posters of the... Atari. Atari patents up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Me? there you go. Nope, we're nope. done unless you want to play one more. Nope, nope, nope. We can move. Okay, we're going to go on to the next game, which is Sokoban. So if you can hold it down, please. And go to... Mini Sokoban. Oh, actually, we're not going to show that yet. No. I have something else to show just before that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to load up the graphic, though. There we go. Um, because somebody else is working on a Soko Bond game. I'm just going to bring it up for everyone here. Oh, not that one. that one. Andrew Davey is working on one. Mm -hmm. And this is pure coincidence because I had Mini Sokoban kind of queued up for a couple weeks. Oh. And he posted um, that he is working on one, I think, a couple days ago. Um, so let me get that on screen. One second. There we go. <laughs> Some cheering outside. Yeah, Some bike polo. Yeah. yeah, bike polo. So he uh, he's the programmer for Boulder Dash, one of the programmers, mm. along with Thomas Jens. And he has been hanging around in the uh, yeah, while we've been playing, while we've been doing the show. Oh, nice. The past couple of shows. Very I don't cool. know if he's here today. Yeah. It's a little bit different because usually this is a late show. It is late. And the other ones are early. Yeah. Um, 
So let me just read some notes on here. Oh, I'll play this for you guys. You can see what he's up to here. This is his latest video that he's posted just 19 hours ago. And um, he is using his Boulder Dash engine. So I'm zooming around a bit here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Woo! He's going to use his Boulder Dash <laughs> engine to make a Sokoban game. And he said, when I look... Uh, using the tile engine from Boulder Dash. He posted on Sunday 1st. When I looked at the screenshot like the attached, I started to dream about doing a Sokoban once again. So he had the mm -hmm. idea a while ago, it looks like. I first started playing with Sokoban using Playfield graphics back in about 1998. I noticed there are a couple Sokoban efforts on Atari H, which we're going to be playing. But perhaps it's time to do one again using the tile engine uh, used for Boulder Dash. Look at the image below and think about walls, boxes, and a man not too far off already. Well, this is mm -hmm. a little bit past what he was... Um, he posted it originally so he's got it almost working because mm -hmm. you know what Sokoban is now looking at that right pushing boxes into place yes right yeah so those that's the place yes you have to get the boxes those little squares on the right hand side mm -hmm. and then you have to push the the boxes there mm -hmm. yeah he, I think he needs to slow down the movement so a it's, little it's, bit. it's it's all the strategy of of pushing them one by one that's right so yeah. he pushes one there Mm. And then he has to go back and push another one. And then you eventually get all of them mm. to the right spots. And this game has been made over and over and over again. Many, mm. many platforms. But this is probably the most advanced looking one for the 2600. We're going to be playing a more simplistic one okay. um, today. Um, but it still looks very good. So keep your eyes open for that. And we'll play that as soon as he uh, releases released. one. Yeah. Or uh, sends one to me, a copy. Mm -hmm. um, so, but this one that we'll be playing is made by Roland P. It's from February 25th, 2010. So let's go to the Atari again. And there we go. Mini Sokoban. Uh, and this build is from March 15th, 2010. This is a 4K game. And you can see this has smooth movements, actually. go so you've got the first one i don't think it has any sound is there is it timed or is it no. the number of move, moves i think quite possibly this one was planning to be timed but no work has been done since 2010 since, yeah, gotcha. but you see that thing at the top oh no that i think that's level level one um yeah some sokoban games are timed some sokoban games are by moves Either counting down or counting up. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, you're screwed. You can do yeah. undo. Stop, stop, stop. What? Press the button. Does undo in this game. Oh, you've already screwed it up. No, that but I, I didn't. Did I push it there? At some point you must have. Mm. Yeah. So I think I, I need to reset this because you will not win. I don't, I don't even remember pushing it there. There you go. Yep. Look how far away it was. You pushed oh, it two spots. Not even just one. Okay, Roland P. Uh, hi all. I've been. I just made a working version of Sokoban with one level. Had fun. Obviously, this is a little bit past that. Um, and then in March, on this version, it says I've now implemented an undo buffer. It remembers 16 movements at the moment. Every turn or stop-start moving a block counts as a movement. Uh, please report bugs if you encounter them. <sighs> See, I didn't mean to. There we go. There. Sometimes yeah, yeah. it's just a little too sensitive. Oh. I also made the colors a bit more contrasty. The colors mm -hmm. are really good in this. Mm -hmm. Very, uh, very clean. Especially for the boxes. There's nice little lines in between. And the movement is very smooth, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like chunk, chunk, chunk. No. And that's... Um, same with the uh, Boulder Dash one. The guy's legs move. Mm -hmm. and I mean, that one's a very advanced looking one. And I've seen this type of game on every platform i think there's probably like 10 game boy <laughs> games. versions of it yes yeah. in various forms because it just the game boy lends itself really well to this it's a simple kind of game to make um with uh, platforms that have really simplistic graphics i mean obviously if the atari can do it the game boy can easily do it one left But I think it's pretty essential to have a number of moves 
Because how do you compare? Yeah, yeah. How do you compare how well you're doing? You have to compare it to, to another. something. Yeah. Um, or in some games, like you get a gold, a, bro a silver, and a bronze. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's all manual. Is that it? It was a work in progress. Uh, oh, they're all Level different. two. Gotcha. Um, or like, oh, if you did it in 30 moves, you get a bronze. If you do it in 20 moves, you get a silver. If you do it in 10 moves, you get a gold. Mm. Um, that's a good way of doing it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I played this one for a second, then I'm like, oh my god, how do you, how do you play this one? Mm. Mm, yeah, you never want to put one in up against a wall. No, ever, never. ever, ever, ever. That's like the rule. Uh, well, you can put one up against a wall if you can move it over to a place where there is no wall and you can move it down again. Yeah. Mm. That's a tough one. Yeah, because I can't move it back, can I? No. No, not mm. possible. I would somehow do that block in the top left, like push it down and then go around back and push it to the left. That would be the first one I would what try are you for. About? That one that was just above you. This one? Yeah. What am I supposed to do if I push it up? It, Not I up. I can't push it. You somehow get around it to push it down. Yeah. Yeah. But that's problematic. It is now. <laughs> is it? Where yeah. did it start? No, you haven't touched that one, but I mean other things that you've put in place. I can restart it. No, I'm just... No. Where did it start? Yeah, restart it. Don't think it's going back any further. Oops. Eight levels. Hmm. Um... I would, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So you can push this one up quite easily. Oh, no, you can't. So yeah. You... yeah, you can push it all the way up to there, up to the top, and then somehow get around to pushing it that way, which means you have to move all those five blocks in no, there somewhere. No, you can't. You can't. Oh, no, you, you can't. can't get in there, right? No. Then you have to do that one. You have to push or that one. There's nowhere. There's nothing else you can. No. Mm -mm. Not that one. Hmm. Oh. I know. Push those two, the ones on your right, to mm -hmm. the left. Both of Which them. Which right? The ones on your right. These ones? Push them to the left, both of those. Yeah. Then push that one up two. Then push it down. Go around it. And push it. Or don't. You don't have to, actually. Push that one over. Mm -hmm. There. Now you can get at least one. And go back around. This, this gets easier at this point, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yay! One! <laughs> um, then you can push a lot of these out through that through that same course. Ah, I didn't mean to do undo. That. Undo. Yeah, I can do that. See, oh, it's very sensitive. Yeah, so you got two. It's easy enough. At least there's an undo. And then you can get that next one as well. And then that next one. Oh, okay. I think you're screwed though. With the block of four, you can't I get. Don't know. You can't get those apart. Can't you? No. No, you can't. Damn it. Yeah. You 
because they're up against like there's no no direction you can push them so that is a mistake right yeah because yeah. you can't you can't push two hmm. so you can't push those together together hmm you can't push anything together no like i th i still think you have to go to the to the push that to the right the one on your right yeah but i don't know how you oh get... you definitely have to yeah that's definitely the first move that you have to make from here i don't know yeah yeah oh now i don't know what to do <laughs> Yeah. I, I suppose I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could do that. And then that then what? Nothing. one to your right over to the left. As long as you're not, because you can always push that to the right again and then move it up or down. There you go. Now I think it's good. Now do exactly what you did before. No, you can't pull. Not in this version. Oh no. You can push that down too. But I can't. Oh no. Um because you block that entrance. Try and push down two and see if you can do anything else. But you move some back. Oh, there's an undo. There's no pull. But if you press the button, it'll undo what you just did up to 16 levels. Oh, yeah. No, see, I can't push them out. Nope. No, you're screwed now. Hmm. No, you won't have enough undos. No? No. You have to go all the way back to, or maybe you can. No, no, no. Okay, push that one. No. Damn it. Yeah, I can't push them next to each other. Am I reset? Sure. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> That's why I hesitate to put puzzle games on the show. <laughs> There's nothing to well, talk about. Well, because you just you just wanna you wanna spend you, your time. Because uh... you can't talk and do puzzle games. It's so hard. Yeah. Um, no, that's not gonna work. No, I think the only first move is to do that one on the right hand side. This one. Yeah. And push it over, and then somehow manipulate the blocks so that passage is not blocked right now you have to get behind blocks to move them that's the problem you always have to leave a space behind them yeah or you're kind of screwed yeah always behind them or or be able to push them into a spot where you yeah. can get behind them Already, level two. Jeez. Well, they may not be in easy to hard order. It's definitely a ramp up uh, mm. from level one to level two. Mm. Oh. Oh, some new names. I didn't even notice that. Real Max Power and C64 Television. Welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. Hope you're enjoying this puzzle game. 
Do you want to try the next level? And see if it's maybe a little bit easier. Mm, it probably won't be easier. Oh my god. Even worse? Uh, I, I, probably. <laughs> this is crazy. Hmm. <laughs> Let me try. My hmm? turn. Sure. Okay. Let's see. I always think, go for the easy ones yeah. first and get them out of the way. Sometimes that yeah. backfires, though. Yeah. If you do the, the, the one and the three, push it over to the right. Uh, that one? Yeah. To the right? Yeah. And then I should be able to get around that one if I push that all the way to the left. Mm-hmm. Push that one up. I just have to push it up all the way, and it still doesn't help me. If you push that one up, you might be able to get this around one? it later. Yeah. 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 Push that up, and oh, push and then that down, do that one. Okay. and then that you can get rid of that, and then you can pull push the one to the left if you go up into the that. Oh no! No, no you can't. I can push that one. I'm going to try something. That one up. And that. That one to the right. Then that one over. And then I can get that one down, but I think I'm just messing myself up for I don't know, maybe. the rest of it. It's bad news now. No, They're all if, clumpy. If, if you do the middle one up. That one? If you do that one up. Uh-huh. Then what? Mm. It's all over. And then I just have nothing. that one and it's over. Packrat says these require a lot of planning slash yeah, thinking. Yeah, it's it's something that you need to spend time on. Uh, well, oh my god! <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh it's a, it's my the type god. of. Um, they really the, ramp up the the difficulty difficulty immediately. I feel like there's strategy here that once you get get the feel of it, it wouldn't be too bad. But I think. Yeah, you can figure out what not to do pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, once you've kind of worked that out. But what mm. to do, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you, you you know, if you push a block into a certain spot, it's like, no, that one's no, not coming out ever. No, you can't do ever. anything, yeah. Yeah. Like those three up in the top left, they're all immovable now. All of them. The three? Those three that I'm around. Yeah. I can't move you any You can't of put them. three together like that. No. Because you can't, because of uh, the, the block that's between two blocks. Yeah. Yeah, this is um, from 2010 by Roland P. Mm. Um, yeah, you're going to have to restart. <laughs> brutal. Mm -hmm. Brutal. So I think we'll move on. Okay. <laughs> because this is really hard. But if you want a, a puzzle game... Mm -hmm. that you want to sit and think about and uh, spend a lot of time on. This mm -hmm. is a pr really good version of it. Mm -hmm. It's very nice, um, very clean, and has really hard puzzles that will keep you occupied mm -hmm. for very many hours. <laughs> so let's move on to uh, Pressure Cooker and try for a high score. All right. Let's see if this works out Packrat VG, I wonder if there's only one solution per level. That is definitely possible. Depends on how hard the level is. Some of the, er, the easier levels there yes. might be multiple solutions to, but... The harder levels, probably Level one. two, hard, right out of the gate, so... But not that many boxes. I'm sure, I'm sure it's uh, oh, it figure outable. Oh my god, it actually worked. So, what is this game? This game will be very familiar to you, mm -hmm. actually. It looks familiar right away. 
Um, not in the fact that you've seen it or played it, mm. but in the fact that you play games right now that are just like oh, this game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is from... Um, what is it? Oh, Over, overcooked? I can't this remember This is Pressure Cooker. Pressure Cooker. Get the actual graphic and then everybody else can see it. Um, pressure Cooker. There we go. So it's made in 1983. Um, oh, there's supposed to be music. Oh, it's on the demo, I think, right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll let you play it. I'm going to turn off the music. Actually, there is a switch to turn off the music because it continues on forever. And it's either difficulty A, B, or TV type. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> so you already know how to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. What? No, you make burgers. Oh, you made a blank burger. Oh. Um, so what? this is but made by... How do I get rid of what's in my hands? Go down to the bottom. Yeah. And then put it in the appropriate slot, which are none of them because you made a blank burger. What? I don't understand. <laughs> That's lettuce. Nobody wants a lettuce burger right now. You have to kick it back with the button if you don't want it. So right now, one person wants a tomato burger, one person wants a onion burger, and another person wants an onion burger. You see in the bottom? Mm -hmm. And there's tomatoes, onions, lettuce, cheese. How do I pick up the... There you go. And then you get a topping, and then you put it on that burger, and then take it down. And that's a red one, so don't put it there. Put it in the red. Oh. No, you missed the red. I did. You're on the side. <laughs> you dropped it on the floor. So... That's an onion. I just randomly pick stuff up? I'm confused. It randomly shoots out stuff. Okay. Kind of randomly. And you can reject it. So that's a red. Get in the middle of the red. That's blue. Mm. You dropped it in blue. It was in blue and red. Yeah. I guess you could do it. I'm one. looking at the check marks, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. It was blue or red. It was flashing yeah, the red. Yeah, and one. I said blue or red, so... <laughs> that's, what, that's what it showed. Um... Okay, so you need to get 45,000 points. I will read out the instructions for you. Well, here. Wait. Goes on for a long time. <laughs> it's prep, prep prep music. Oh, I have to use the, Oh, jeez. How do I get rid of it? You put it on a burger. Oh. You have to put it on a burger? Yeah. And then you have to get rid of the burger. Just somewhere where... Just anywhere. Yeah, because it's a failed burger. Um, so that is bad. That is bad. You have to reject it with the button. With the button? Yeah. So you have to bounce it back with the button. There you go. And then you don't lose anything. And put that in the green slot because it's flashing green. Oh, so... There it, you go. It actually flashes what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You wanted that. And now you don't really want that. Mm. But you have to make a burger. Uh... Oh, it's an empty one. So you could put that in the blue. Yeah. I don't understand. So you hit the button and that, that tosses it. Yeah. But I ran into the um, the lettuce and I just destroyed it. Um, because you have to catch it properly. With your stomach. So you have an empty burger to make. Because one of them is empty. That's why it keeps giving you tops of buns. really it, no it's just awkward <laughs> it's challenging it's very you'll get, awkward you'll get the hang of it uh fun fact the in two notes of the 2600 were given to a musician who composed uh games tunes yes so Sorry, i'm not getting the hint i want to play again i just i'm trying to get a get a ha handle on the controls oh okay well let me tell you no no i i understand oh, okay. you do understand <laughs> just, that. yeah i have to i everything that comes out you have to hit or accept yes yeah everything um, press and hold the red button to reject unwanted condiments. Press the red button to drop completed hamburgers into the wrapping chute. Why, why did it hit it? I have to hit it. You hit it with your head. You have to hit it with your... Uh, you have to catch it. So you have it. to be very deliberate in how you catch yes. it. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
think you lose any points for rejecting. Yeah, no, you have to. If it if it falls without, um, oh, see. No, I... you don't lose any points. Thankful. <laughs> but it's if you confusing miss the hell it... out of me. <laughs> see, I'm kicking it when I don't mean to kick it, yes. and then I'm I'm ignoring it when I mean to to actually get rid of it. It's a little. So yeah, you have to process everything that comes at you, either rejecting it or taking it. Yeah, and that's what's weird. Yeah. No, I didn't mean to do that. So what is the game that you play? Oh, I what's forget it called? what it's called. Cooking Overcooked? something? Overcooked? Overcooked? <laughs> Undercooked. <laughs> Undercooked, something like that. Well, it was free on the PS4, so... Is the original Galagon demo still the only de demo publicly available? Yes, the original one is the only one available right now he says um john says he's going to put out yeah, three lettuce burgers to make lettuce burgers <laughs> who wants a lettuce burger that's what you know people who don't eat meat used to have to eat lettuce, lettuce burgers, burgers. Aww, sad lettuce so burgers sad. i'm sure th uh, there is actually meat on it that's okay uh yeah it's automatically oh. it comes from the kitchen yeah you gotta oh. you Take it. See, I'm kicking away the ones I don't want. Yeah, you have to. Actually, do you get points? Yeah, you have to wait for a top. Yeah. <gasps> what it's happens? It's getting harder. What is happening? Yeah, that's the end. Oh, it's the, it the last burger. burger. Yeah. Okay, I see. There we go. That makes more sense. Because you just your your score keeps going down or your points keep going down. Performance rating: you begin with 50 performance points. You can add or lose performance points depending on your efficiency as a cook. Uh, you earn 10 performance points each time your score increases 10,000 points. Your maximum performance rating is 99 points. You lose one performance point every time any condiment is wasted, smashing against short order Sam or the conveyor belt. The place. You place the same type of condiment on any hamburger more, or you place a, a double condiment as well. You get points off. Um, but there is no time limit, so it's not like you have time to do anything. Oh, I don't even want that. I don't want that at all. I'm like trying to figure out what's going on here. I, I, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit confused by the, um, what, what is the burger I'm making? Well, you have made a There's a lettuce. like it's it's across the bottom bar, which is yes. is, is confusing. So there's a number I lost I ran out of time. So there's a number of burgers. There's only yeah. three burgers to make. But but First I was looking at it like am I th putting three onions or is it <laughs> no, it's it's, it's across. across, yeah. Onion cheese. Yeah. Tomato onion. Yeah. And then, and then onion. That's okay. So what did your score? What score did you get? Oh I don't know. Not very not very good. Onion, lettuce, and then onion. Yeah. Yeah, that so that's a good way to do it. Just look at it, memorize it. Oh, see, I, I, I yeah. lost one. I know. I. Onion. It's, nope. It's... Nope. Nope. I don't need you to tell me that. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I really don't. <laughs> Uh, you lose five performance point times every time you drop a hamburger into the wrong wrapping chute. Or you miss a wrapping chute when you drop a hamburger. You lose ten every time a hamburger falls off the end of the conveyor belt. So that's the worst. You don't want it to fall off. But the thing ever. is... Ever. Always make a hamburger. Make a hamburger and put it somewhere. Put it even somewhere. if it's wrong. Yeah. Scoring. Each time you catch a condiment, you score five points. You score ten points for placing any type of condiment on a hamburger for the first time. A hundred points are awarded every time you drop a completed hamburger into the correct wrapping chute. Efficiency bonus points and burger bonus points reward you and boost your score at the end of each wave. 
don't know if you can hold it. Can you hold the button to reject? Uh, uh, I think so. So you don't have to, like, time it perfectly? Yeah, it's nice that it flashes it. Mm-hmm. The end of the game when your performance rating drops to zero. So you have 41, still very good. So do you get, oh, you stay at 41. And, and then it you counts, get points. and it gives you bonus points mm. for having those scores. Mm -hmm. I am very worried I will not be able to <laughs> get. <laughs> it, it, it's get. not hard, it, it takes a bit of uh, time. Yeah. Come on, get down. <laughs> That's it. There we go. There's a tomato and lettuce, right? Yeah, there's a tomato in the first one. one. Yeah. No, I do have that on. Oh, oh really? So we're trying to get 45,000 points, which I am very skeptical I can get. It's so high. When, it, when in doubt, just bounce it. Don't let it crash. Making better burgers. Oh. Catching ingredients. Flying condiments must collide with Sam's rather rotund stomach. Head on, left or right sides, be caught. When they hit them anywhere else, splat. Rejecting ingredients. When you don't want a condiment, press the red button and the condiments will bounce off Sam's stomach. None of the orders ever require any condiment more than once. Building burgers. Condiments are placed one at a time on the burgers. Touching the burger with the ingredient to place the ingredient on it. When every ingredient needed has been placed in a burger, the color bar and the electronic order board corresponding to that order flashes. Wrapping burgers. To complete the order, rush Sam to the bottom of the assembly uh, room and enter the wrapping room. Drop the hamburger onto the wrapping chute that is the same color as the flashing bar on the electronic order board. Filling orders can run you ragged, especially at the grill. But if you, order, if you score 45,000 points or more, then we think the cook deserves a round of applause. Stand up and be a bona fide member of the Activision Short Order Squad. Just to sandwich a snapshot of your savory sauce and an envelope and savory score in an envelope, along with your name and address, and send it to us. We'll be delighted to send you the Short Order Squad emblem shown below. Be sure to write the name Pressure Cooker and your score on the bottom of the envelope. Forty-two. What do you have to get? 45,000. That's a long time of playing. I know, yeah. it's not a short game, I don't yep. think. Nope. <laughs> I am going to have trouble with this game. It is, uh, you have to get used to it. Yeah? Yeah, like I said, it's, 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 uh, it's not hard. It just takes a little bit of practice. I pressed it. Yeah, but you weren't, ah. you weren't in line with it. That's why you, that's, that's kind of obnoxious. So. I'm, I'm wondering as a tactic, if it's better to just have a burger, you just put all that stuff you don't want on. And... You lose points for doing double, um, double things. Really? Yeah. So I have to take that burger and drop it into garbage. What do I need? That. I've already got an onion. You got an onion there. Yep. Oh my God. Blue. Onions. Onion and a topping. And to the green. I need a cheese. And the green. At least they stop throwing items at you. I need onions. And I need it in the red. I don't need lettuce. I need tomato. 
green. I don't need that. I need an onion. Come on. The red. Don't need cheese. I need lettuce. And not tomato. Not cheese. Oh my god. Destroyed it. Uh, red. Don't need cheese, just need onions. I think I'm gonna have to keep saying that out. Just to keep track of what I need. Oh my god. I need blank burger. Actually, I need my uh, fulfillment, because that one's gray. Blue. Come on, drop. Oh, I'm done. Tough score to get, yeah. I know. Hmm, I have a ROM labeled Galaga, but it looks like River Raid just with Galaga at the bottom instead of Activision. Yeah, that would be an issue. I don't think that's Galaga. <laughs> Especially if it plays River Raid. Uh, I don't need that. I need that. Then I need cheese on that or lettuce. It's gonna get tough because it's more than one. I need that, but I don't need anything else on it. I need a lettuce, and then I need an onion with it. I don't need a cheese no with cheese. it. No cheese. I don't need that. I don't need that. I need an onion with it. There you go. And, and a topping. lid. And that goes in blue. I need a cheese. And an onion. And an onion with it. Okay. Yeah. Topping. It's red. Uh, that's automatic. I need an onion and, and I need a lettuce. lettuce. It's green. Don't need any cheeses. I need a tomato. And a lid. And a lid. I haven't gotten any blank burgers yet. I don't need any mm. tomatoes. I need lots of onions. Onion and, and lettuce. lettuce. Works. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> I need a cheese and an onion. It's not too bad. Not too bad once you kind of... You get used to the rejection. <laughs> yeah, the rejection. <laughs> the, like oh. how to reject things. Oh my god. See? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, What do I need? Nope. You need oh a lettuce. Oh my god. You need a lettuce. Oh my god, it's hitting it. You need a lettuce. Lettuce will work. Oh, the burgers Blue. are getting down. Onion. Onion. Tomato. Thank you. Maybe you can be my co-pilot. I'll try. <laughs> yep. Lettuce and cheese. Thank you. That's the end. That's so fidgety. Tough score to get is right, Pack Rat. 5,000, <laughs> yeah. Getting there. Mm -hmm. Now what? Two things still? Okay. Still two. Okay, need your help. Okay, onion yep. and lettuce on this one. Yeah, there you go. Perfect and green. Thank you. Tomato yep. and onion. Or tomato and lettuce. Okay. That's in red. Tomato and lettuce. No, uh, no Not cheese. Yet. Not yet. Tomato and lettuce. Tomato and lettuce. There you go. Lettuce and onion and cheese. Ah, oh, no. Nope. Need a tomato? No. Oh, I do. And the tap one. No, so. you don't. You, you, you oh didn't make my it. God. You didn't make it. So cheese. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. No tomato. Oh, you do on the bottom yeah, one. Yeah. yeah and confused. and I can do that one too. You just made a random burger. That's no. In. I need an empty burger. Oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Do I need that? Uh, no. Oh my God. No. I put it on the no. You uh, put it on the upper one. Yeah. 
Now and we then, need a lettuce or a uh, so with the onion, onion. You don't need it on that one. Put it on that top one. I'm screwed. Uh, if you find lettuce, put it on the onion. Lettuce on the onion. It's going to be too late. Oh. Can you I gotta... complete this one? No. Nope. 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 I'm screwed. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> uh, cheese can go on uh, onion. Onion, yeah. And then lettuce can go on that too. Yeah. There you go, blue. Um, tomato can go on one of them. And then cheese, yeah. And then lettuce. You want lettuce. Uh, I'll put it on, yeah. Really hard. Man, oh my god. That's a lot of multitasking. That's two two of us working at it at the same time. Wow. Why don't you have to make the last one? I don't know. I, I guess you have a quota or a time limit. Yeah, there must it, be a time it... limit. Mm. There's always a way that to That is do challenging. Things. There's always a way to... Because I think there's a... Maybe just get better at memorizing and matching and... and... You also have to remember what's on the burgers. Yeah, and that, on the, that I find... Based on the colors. I didn't realize there were empty ones, too. Yeah. I need lettuce. Lots of lettuce burgers. Lots of lettuce burgers. Start with the green. Nope. Oh, nope. It's a lettuce burger. A lettuce burger. A tomato burger. Uh, green. Oh, lettuce burger. Just Come on. Trash in the food on the ground. Because <laughs> you hit it with your head instead of your... Yep. I need an onion burger. Come on. Get down there. We need Gary Kitchen in the chat. Help us, Gary. <laughs> How do you play this game well? Is it really just memorization? Nope. nope. Oh, no. It just, it's so hard to kick them. Yeah. Kick them properly. It's green... Uh, nope. 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 Just onions. Yep. I think it's you can kind of hold on to it, can't you? The button? Yeah. I think you can too. Yeah. Nope. There you go. Nope. No, not your head. Oh. oh that's the most disappointing when you make I a know. whole burger. And it's like you're just you go, not Oops. placed quite right. And you throw it on the ground. Just onions. All, the, all about the onions. But the graphics are unbelievable. Yeah, in this they're game. really nice. It has a the nice fire burger. at the top. It has conveyor belts, mm -hmm. and I actually have some statements from interviews of Gary Kitchen about this game that I was going to read. Come on, get down there, get. Um, leading up to it, there was a question uh, from 2014 interview in interview in retrogamer.net what inspired your next game keystone capers after donkey kong i was inspired to do another little man game i was also interested in doing a funny whimsical character many times on a machine with limited graphics cap capability the theme is driven by what you can display that looks good blah 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 um i was always trying to make realistic animations of mechanical contraptions e.g the oven and conveyor belts and pressure cooker like they're really good um, and then, how long did Pressure Cooker take to create? About eight months. I was standing in a Burger King at lunch watching the burgers move by the frame, flame on a conveyor belt and had the idea. The jingle in Pressure Cooker is one of my favorite parts of the game. People ask me how I made it sound so good, in tune. The trick was simple. Most of the tones the Atari 2600 could generate were out of tune, and it drove me crazy when designers used them in game music. There's nothing worse than out of tune music. I decided I wanted uh, good sounding music, so I brought in an electronic keyboard, went through each tone on the Atari 2600, marking the keys of the keyboard when I found the tone that matched an in tune note. We then hired a professional jingle writer, sat him in front of the keyboard, and told him to write a song using only the marked keys. His first reaction was, You're kidding me, right? But as soon as he got into it, he wrote the pressure cooker jingle with no sour notes, and it ended up sounding great. So that's funny. That's a funny little... 
story. Tidbit, it's like, yeah. here, make a song with only these notes. And it turned out really well. There's a difficulty setting. We're on the easy difficulty. Uh, there is a hard difficulty. I will get to that. Let me just read about what the hard does. Um, let's see, where is that? The heart. Uh, <laughs> the one thing I didn't want. Why do I keep doing that? Difficulty switches. Oh, it, oh, the difficulty switch plays the music or in between waves or mu continuously. Because it is kind of playing in the background. Very softly. Do, 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 do. It's not really annoying. It's kind of good there because the actual rest of the sound isn't um, isn't too loud. Is is louder than the music, so it's fine. The right difficulty switch is not used, so there actually isn't any difficulties. No. Um, but there are game variations. Um, one or two players. Games one, three, five, seven is one player. Two, four, six, eight is two players taking turns. I guess per level times. <clears throat> It doesn't say what the levels are here. There might have been a chart in the manual, and I don't have a non-HTML manual version. Oh my goodness. I just keep smooshing everything. Oh no. Yeah, smoosh you burgers! You smoosh, smoosh everywhere. Terrible! Just smushed my burger. See, oh, ah. smacking it with your face. I know. I think that's probably one thing that that's I would the change most, about most the game. The most obnoxious thing about it. Yeah. And I and I want to dodge things like oh my my, God. my automatic my automatic um, impulse impulses to dodge them. Right. Jeez. <laughs> and that's why it's not uh, working out so well. Yeah. Would have been better to. Get that onion burger. Yeah, complete that. Oh, it is an actual burger. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. That still stands true. You should complete the onion burger first because mm -hmm. it was further down on the conveyor. Ugh. So, this is the easiest version of the game. There is no. No easy. There's no easier version of the game. I wish there were. But, I mean, all the patches should be hard to get. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be easy. No. It took Stampede two tries to get for me. And Spider Fighter took three tries to get. That was very, very hard. And usually there's... There's a catch in the game. There's like, oh, that's the pattern. Or that's how you do it. And once you, you figure it, it out, it becomes easier, yeah. For this one... I think it's just memorization. No. Or just getting used just to Just getting used it. to the... The look of things and understanding what the burgers look like mm -hmm. and and quickly looking down but the problem is say that lettuce was coming at you first you have to look down see if you need a lettuce see if you already used a lettuce and which burger to put the lettuce on i find it I smoosh them. I smoosh them all the time. <laughs> that is an issue. So that's a bad burger, right? Yeah. And you're still waiting for a top. It won't give you a top. But that was the last burger. It that's was the last burger. Why. Yeah. And you lose points for putting mm -hmm. condiments on. So you would have lost points. And you actually get points for putting so you the lose, toppings you, on. you lose points for putting the toppings on that are wrong? No, you don't. You gain points. If they're wrong? I think so. I, it didn't say anything about wrong. Let's see. Let's see. Do, do, do. You lose, you lose, you lose. Scoring. You you get five points for catching. And you get ten points for placing any type of condiment for the first time. Okay. What do I have on there? I can't even see it. What is on that's there? That's an onion. Yeah, that's an onion. White is cheat. No, white is... I don't know. White is onion. Yellow I don't is want cheese. this at all. There. So you actually... I'm so confused. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm honestly confused. I'm trying to figure out what I have on and trying right. to dodge and pick stuff up. It's not going well. <laughs> Do you want to try? <laughs> yeah. Wait a sec. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Because it starts immediately. Does it? 
Oh. They should have made the onion white at the bottom. Or Gary should have. Because the onion on the burger is white. Yeah, the cheese it doesn't... Is... It doesn't matter though. Yeah, it's it it's trying to I'm keep trying track to... of what you've put on the burgers, and then I'm like, which what goes with what? It's that's well, what's hard. If, that's if, what's difficult the, to keep track of. If the tomato was purple, on the burger, and the tomato was red on the bottom, that's confusing. Yeah. The onion is yellow on the bottom and white on the burger. The yeah. cheese is yellow on the burger. Yeah. See, you can't have a yellow onion and then a white onion. Yeah, I know that's what you're saying. That's a problem. I know what you're saying. But okay, looking at the scoring. You get five points mm -hmm. for catching a condiment. And if you smush it, it... You lose points. You lose yeah. a point. Yes. Yeah. So you want to either kick it or pick it up. So if you... if yes. It hurts you more to be in the wrong position because it just smushes it. You just lose points every single time. So but even if you pick it up and put it on a burger... Even the wrong burger. Even the wrong burger is better. You'll actually... You'll... You'll negate that burger dropping off, which is minus 10 points, mm. by putting all four condiments on the wrong burger. Because or putting you get two. A, well, two, but put yeah. more is even better. Because you get five points for each one. You'll yeah. get a maximum of 20, plus mm. you get an extra 10 points for putting the first condiment on the burger. Mm. So. Correctly, though? I don't know. Uh, wait a second. Any condiment? The f any condiment for the first time on a burger, you get 10. So that's 10. You get 5 for catching it, so that's 15. Mm. And then you put the other 3 on there, that's another 15. Mm. So that's 30 points for just making a burger. And then you minus 10 for falling off. So you can get 20 points for making the wrong burger falling off mm. the conveyor belt. So if you accidentally pick up the wrong condiment, yeah, put it on a burger... Put okay. it on a, well, you have a garbage burger, burger. Yeah, but right? you have no choice but to put it on a burger. Uh, it's true. Like, you have to. You can't drop it. You can't simply destroy it. But don't wreck two it. burgers, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what happens? How much do you lose if it falls off the conveyor? Ten. You but lose you, 10. But you can get a maximum of 30. If you put condiments on it. If you it. load it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's strategy. Yeah. Onion has different color skin than inside. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's well, very I, true. I do realize. Uh, yeah. you, can, you can buy buy white onions. Oh yeah, yeah. No, so, no. But I mean, uh, no. He's the skin is yellow. I, I get that. I but it does reasoning. it does make it a little confusing. But it makes I'm it like, harder. is that cheese or is that onion? Because yeah. look on the screen, the middle of that onion is the same color as the cheese. Yeah. Well, the cheese is the same color as the burger bun too. So that's a problem too. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It's make all it a problem. <laughs> It just makes it confusing. I'm sure once you're used to it, you figure it out. But. So I'm not sure if that was on purpose or you just, you know, made it so it's yeah. harder. It does make it harder. It definitely makes it harder. No. You want just the ends. No. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I find talking my way through it is... Easier. Is easier. Okay. Yeah, I want to lettuce. Yes. And that's it. That's it. And onion is the next and one. Onion. Usually completes it, but not on this level. It completes it. Onion. On the next levels, it's like no, we're gonna give you a bunch of stuff. It's red. Another onion. <laughs> that I don't like either. You're waiting for it to come down. Well, there's no time limit. I know. Like it's not a rush. Like you could sit here, Great. I think, forever. Right? I don't know. Can you? Actually, I think there's a timer for the rest of it like the total so you can Red. you're losing points really on an easy easy level mm -hmm. yep yep and that's it and green no cheese. no cheese i want that that's by itself and that's a green one onion yep do you want that for a red or blue whatever it seems to decide Probably goes from top to bottom. Uh, no, bottom to bottom top. to top, because that's the first order in. I'm guessing. There, yep. Yeah, you want I mean, that, and you also want to. Oh no, yeah. There's no more burgers no. after. Yeah, I've come to the end of my burger making day. Nope. Don't want that. Just yep. an onion. A lot of people like onion burgers. It's <laughs> a lot of onion burgers. I it does it does improve the flavor of your burger. Oh yeah. 
Nice. That's oh. perfect, I guess. That is you perfect. get 12 per day. Yeah. I'm guessing. 50 points. Yeah. Oh, that's a perfect game. Yeah. Perfect first level. Yeah. So, on the first level, you can get 3,000. 3, oh my god, that means there's like... Because it didn't say increasing. You don't get increasing points per level. So, like, there's no multiplier. Like, so 15,000? Onion or cheese. No tomato. Onion. Onion. Don't want that. Onion, lettuce. Onion and lettuce. And then onion and lettuce. Nope. Uh, nope. There is a cheese. Oh, 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 you put on the wrong one. Yeah. And just load it up. There we go. So let's make that other cheese, cheeseburger. Cheese. And so you need lettuce. Lettuce. Please. There you on. go. There you go. At least it gives out the topping properly. Like the burger top. So you want a lettuce. By and itself. A, yeah. Or lettuce or, and onion. Yeah. Nope. 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 Onion. Onion or lettuce. And you want a lettuce? Nope. Or nope. Just onion and lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. Onion and lettuce. You can do that one. Oh no. Oh, I need an onion. Yeah. And now put the lettuce, lettuce on your onion. Yeah. But you could have made another onion oh, okay. burger. Yeah. Green. Yeah, that's getting confusing. Nope. Nope. Onion. Yep. And onion and what? cheese. Onion and cheese. Onion and cheese. Okay. There you go. Don't jump up there, cat. A lettuce only? You yeah. can do a lettuce only okay. burger. Cheese, a cheese yeah. and, and an onion. onion. On top. And that's red. Uh, tomato, yeah. Yeah, tomato on its own. Okay. It's definitely easier. Blue. Tomato and, and lettuce. lettuce. There you go. That's red. Cheese, and cheese yeah. on its own. I think it gives automatically when you do complete a burger. So far. No tomato. Uh, onion, yes. Onion. Oh, no tomato. Onion. <laughs> onion and lettuce. It's okay. Just keep playing. Uh, onion and lettuce. He's. He's. There you go. He's you're almost trouble. done. You're. It's. You're almost done. You're done now. Oh, oh. and you dropped it. See? Don't pay attention to that. I can't help it. He crawls <laughs> on things. <laughs> Come here. You're a bad kitty. What are you doing? Hmm? He's a bad cat. Oh, three items. Ooh. Just put everything on. <laughs> everything, lettuce, every time. Cheese, oh anything. Just pick it up and cheese. So you want a lettuce and an onion. No tomato. Lettuce and onion. There you go. No cheese. Nope. Just get the lettuce. Here it comes. Might have to start making go. the other burger. Yeah, sometimes it's easier just to do this. So cheese, and then uh, tomato, and lettuce. Wait for the lettuce. There you go. Oh my gosh, I'm covered in cats now. <laughs> Red. Uh, yep. You can pick up an onion, and a lettuce, oh. and a tomato. Cats! Why are the cats <laughs> all here? Then what? Okay, put the cheese up there. A lettuce. Put the lettuce on the bottom one, and put a lid. Oh. <laughs> Cats there you go. Uh, onion can go on the cheese, and then a tomato on the cheese, and there's the lid. Yeah. Cats, why are you here now? Tomato on its own. There you go. And the green. Uh, no cheese. No cheese. Uh, onion and tomato. Oh. oh, lettuce. Yeah, lettuce on its own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is very stressful. <laughs> very stressful. Uh, no, no lettuce. lettuce. Uh, onion and tomato, uh, no lettuce. Uh, onion and tomato, there you go. Don't just, just let, don't pay attention to them. Blue, blue. Oh. Uh, okay, cheese on its own. Cheese on its own. Green. Onion and uh, lettuce. Onion and lettuce and, the, and then a lid and that's Look green. Him. Looking up, he's going to do it. I know. He's going to jump up there. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> uh, onion can go on the other burger. Oh, a uh, tomato. You want the tomato on the lettuce? There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, no cheese. Uh, you can put a lettuce on its own. Yeah. And that's red. Oh, onion yeah. and a tomato. There you go. Burger, I think. Yeah. Why are you? Why are you 
fucking crazy cat. Hi. <laughs> go, <laughs> Mr. Go. Feck says, hi, Tari. Hi, Pixar. <laughs> the cheese stands alone. Yeah. Cheese on its own. <laughs> 10,000? Seriously? Mm hey, -hmm. lettuce and tomato. No, no. Oh, well, you have to wait for the next one then. Okay. So whatever comes out next, you. What do I need? Uh, Tomato or? Okay, get the lettuce. Oh no, you don't need the lettuce. Just put it on whatever. Put it on whatever. Put it on whatever. I'm gonna put it on. The, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tomato on the lettuce on the bottom, and then put the lid. There you go. Okay, I need to know beforehand blue, what blue, I blue, need. Blue, blue, blue. It's you not say, that easy. Say blah or blah. No cheese. No cheese. Uh, okay. No lettuce. <laughs> Uh, onion like... on the cheese. If you can get the lid in time, there you go. Red. Okay, tomato, and then cheese. So onion can go on the other one. No lettuce. No lettuce. Uh, tomato can go on the other one on the top. On the top, cheese on the on the tomato, and then a lid, <laughs> and then red, and then that one's gonna fall off. Oh, that is so hard. <laughs> I think you're confusing me more than... I don't know if I am. It's really hard. If you want, I can shut up and you can try to figure it out yourself. But Yeah, I think I will. Because I'm wait I'm now I'm relying on you, and then I yeah. can do nothing. And you're telling me like a, the half second timing. It's, but it, it's it's really hard to, to say it yeah. fast enough because I'm like, okay, what goes with what? It's, oh. it's very challenging. <laughs> Even watching. Oh my goodness. RC70 says holy. Yeah. yeah. Holy is right. And I only made it to what? 10,000? 10,000. 05, I think. Yeah, so I need to do like a billion times better than that. See, it didn't give me the top of the bun right away. Mm -mm. So it's not a guarantee that you're going to get a top. Why are those cat sniffies? Sniffy outside know. at the window. They know you're doing something important, so they're looking for trouble. They are. Oh my god. It is a bit random. But that is a strategy to stay to the right hand side when you are rejecting things and looking for something specific because you can get it done really fast but there's is there a time limit it didn't mention in the in the uh, manual about a time limit but they're really like things are moving the speed they move right mm -hmm. you don't need a time limit you can hold down the button you don't have to press it to reject things don't have to time it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is really a lot easier. <laughs> Can you read the chat? Mm, if you... <laughs> Mr. Fix. Uh, oh, so Ketern on Twitch. Hi, this is my first time on the show. Welcome. Ka Welcome. What's their name? Ketern? Ketern? Ketern and Twitch. Ketern and Twitch. Yes. Uh, German? <laughs> um, Mr. Fix, excellent host, excellent games, excellent cats. Yes, oh, I don't great. know about those excellent cats. Yeah. <laughs> those cats. The cats, the cats are trouble. <laughs> they, well, they were threatening trouble. Yeah. They were definitely threatening trouble. Yeah, they're very bad. Um, and then RC70, if you two merge like Super Saiyans, you can get that score. I don't know. I don't... At that level, things were moving so fast that I... You, you either do it yourself you or you rely on the person. Yeah, And if it's the crazy. person is giving you in information half a second before you need it, you still have it's to hard. process that. Yeah. And then it's too fa it's too fast. Yeah. So it might just be easier to just do it on your own at that point. Yeah. So I need a lettuce or a onion. Red. So I'm gonna try it on my own. So I need. Onion for that. If you stay ahead of it, you can. You only need to concentrate on that one burger. Yeah. Which is, I doubt that's gonna last forever. But so I need a cheese or a lettuce or a, an, onion. an onion or lettuce green. Yep. Yep. Blue. That. 
that. I do want that. It's a blank one. I do want that and a lettuce. Come on, 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 come on. Stay up here. Nice and quick, because mm -hmm. that makes it much quicker to get the proper thing that you want, because those come out. Oops. <laughs> no, I don't want that. I do want that. So you have to wait for them to go completely across the screen before another one comes out. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh! My first bloody Smush. thing. What do I want? Ah! Onion. Ah! Ah! I'm scared. You want an I'm onion. I'm confused. You want an onion. I do? Yes. What did I put on there? Cheese. Oh. <laughs> Stupid colors. <laughs> That and an onion. No. Yes. I want that. Oh, I don't want that. I do want that. And a top. The thing is, you don't get penalized for sending things back. So you can just go reject, reject, reject really fast. Yeah. Okay. So I, I missed a couple points, but I got all the burgers. Mm -hmm. That's where you get the big points. Mm -hmm. 100 per burger. So you can get 1,200 points, which seems so small. <laughs> so the bonus really isn't a huge bonus. I want tomato and then lettuce and cheese for two burgers. To concentrate on one Cheese burger. Alone. Cheese alone? Nope. Now I'm screwed because I. There you go. Cheese alone. There you go. It's very hard. Lettuce and cheese and tomato. Perfect. Nice. Gave it right to me. Mm -hmm. It's good when the kitchen actually does something proper for you. Tomatoes no. only. And a cheese alone. and alone. Yeah, you can yeah. Get alone. Uh, if they gave me the topping, top, which they did. Mm -hmm. And I will take a cheese and then an onion and tomato or lettuce. So that's an onion. Now we need a tomato. Oh my god. Self, yep. Lettuce, yep. And a cheese. Oh, oh my god. Lettuce. No. Oh, well, did you could have done that. Yeah, tomato and cheese works. Thank you. I actually kind of reset the burger there, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, tomato what the alone. hell happened? Tomato alone, you can do tomato alone. Oh, I don't want this. Oh, and I just went off the screen. It's your last one. Load it up. Own. Get a points for catching everything. Anything. There you go. Everything. Oops. Oh my god, come on. Oh, you get lots of points, actually. You lose a ton of points. You no. lose you lose Ten. a point every time. You lose one point every time you put the wrong condom on. It was going down, 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 down. On it? Yes. Oh. You just can't double. Kitties! Why are you back? <laughs> Kitties. And a tomato or blank. Oh, go next to life or something. Mm-hmm. Ten thousand. Extra life at ten thousand. No onions. No that. Tomatoes, yes, by itself or with cheese. Yes, with a tomato. How 
random is it? <laughs> is it random or is it random? And we have lots of things. Or by itself. You better not hop up there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ooh, there's one with fully loaded. Everything. Now I'm confused. What do I have? What do I don't have? Uh, you need the lettuce. Oh my goodness. Four things. That's a big burger. Tomato, lettuce. Now I just need tomato. Um, a cheese and onion. Onion and lettuce and tomato. Lettuce. Oh, come on. Oh, what do I need? Lettuce, right? Lettuce, yeah. Rejected it. Just in time. Cheese. And tomato. Don't need that. Come on, I was pressing the button. Is that what I, all I need? Uh, yep, cheese and, and lettuce. lettuce, and that'll be a full burger if it wants to get to the top. And one more. Lettuce, cheese, and tomato. There you go. They actually gave you a top. Good job. Not bad. I got all the burgers. <laughs> Lost a whole lot of points, though. Mm. Not really close to 45. About a, yeah, at a all. third of the way there, but to do a lot more rounds. Hi. <laughs> oh, I don't want that. Do you want that? It's very random on the hard difficulty, it seems. Like, it doesn't seem to be getting faster. No, just, it's complicated. It's very random, but this, this is this like level first looks, level. It's like we looped back around to the first Did level. I mess up there? What? Did I drop it wrong? I don't know. It made just a terrible attention. noise. Yeah, it didn't make a nice noise. I think I messed up. Put it in the wrong color, maybe. Maybe. Sometimes it, these games do loop. Like yeah, it gives it, you a it kind feels of like easy it's level again. Yeah. But increases the speed of mm. things that are moving. It's possible. I think that hype Blue. happened in. Uh, I don't know what game it happened in. Lettuce and blue. Cats are being very roamy. They're mm -hmm. roaming around. I don't know what they're <laughs> doing. They smell Sniffing. something. What do you smell? What is happening? Hmm? Look at it, so sniffy. Can you guys see that on the on the cat cam? Or the Atari and cat cam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do need that. Yeah, there he is. He is on the cat cam. Pixel, are you on the ta on the cat cam? <laughs> hmm? oh, oh, come on. Oh, you don't oh. need that one. Don't need that one either. <laughs> Cheese alone. Cheese stands alone. Yeah, that's the last burger. Is it? Yeah, because I missed it. Oh. Did I lose? Yeah, you lose a point every time. Every time you double up? Every, every time you put something on. No, you shouldn't lose a point. It was losing. It was going down. Because I, I doubled that one up. I, it already had oh, that really? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Pixel. Pixel. Yawning. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> yeah. Tomato by itself. <laughs> Lettuce and then. <sighs> Be so precise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're definitely getting the hang of this. Though. Yeah, yeah. Playing it for a while. <laughs> this is a long game. It is a long game. Like to hit the forty-five. Yeah. What? What? What am I doing? What's happening? Nothing. You don't want that. Well, that's going on there because. Well, you could have used that, but that's okay. Oops. 
Just drop it. Oh, you're dead. Whoa. 18,000. That is very far from 45. <laughs> really, 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 far. really far from 45,000. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think this game might be like a bonus stream. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is. It's challenging. It's really long. I like the, I like the jingle. But it doesn't get like a lot harder like i it's just I challenging overall yeah. oh. gotta put it on something that's you oh, never do that. <laughs> i'm doing it purposefully the conveyor belt sped up? It could be. Because it seems just as fast now. I'll read some more about it. Actually, in one of the uh, interviews, it was very interesting. Um, this one's from retrogamer.co.uk. Um, they asked, are you aware of the homebrew community for the Atari 2600? Have you seen anything that has been released by them for the 2600? How about for other systems? And Gary says, I'm aware of the homebrew community, but I haven't spent a lot of time looking at what's been released. This is 2016, three years ago. I suppose I'll look at some point. I enjoyed writing 2600 kernels so much that it's not out of the realm of possibility that I may be tempted to do one myself one day. Mm. So, maybe Gary, Gary Kitchen will come back and... Uh, no. And uh, maybe even collaborate with his brother. <laughs> um, or do happen? a separate, uh, completely separate uh, game. That would be amazing. Oh. Smoosh. I'm going to read the, the points again. 10 points every 10,000, which seems very low. Uh, the maximum performance rating is 99, which you'd have to get a ton of points to get 99. Lose one, any condiment is wasted. Smashing against short order sand or the conveyor belt. Mm. So one point any time it just smashes. It just smashes, yeah. Um, or you lose one any time you uh, place the same type of condiment. Oh, so if you double it. So you can it. load it up with all four, but not yeah. double. But what if you drop it in the wrong spot? Like, what if there's no spot to drop it? You must you well, must you lose something. It. You have to eventually drop it. Well, in but I mean... Do you lose? Po you've got to lose points on some level. To if you if you have the wrong burger and it doesn't have a slot to go into. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean at the net, the other screen? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you do. You um. That one. You lose five. You lose five points. So it's better it's better to take it to the other screen than to let it fall off the conveyor belt. That's the worst. Yeah. That can happen. So if you make a wrong burger, oh, geez. try and get it to the other conveyor belt if possible. You may not be able to, though. Um, but you, you do get five points for every condiment, so if you want to maximize the points of that burger that's about to fall off, you want to load it up with things, but not double it. That one's about to fall off. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Smack my head. <clears throat> what am I trying to go for here? Oh, that is lettuce. a cheese, so you need lettuce. Yeah. yeah. The objective of the game is, well, to keep playing, because it never, never ends. <laughs> but our objective Ugh. is to get the patch, um, because they gave away patches. Um, with Activision games in the 80s and 90s. Um, they don't give away patches now, but you can still earn them virtually. <clears throat> um, and you to get the patch for this game, you have to get 45,000 points. The objective of each level is to fill up all those burgers. Actually, they only give you 12 burgers down the line total. So if you miss a burger, you'll only get 11 burgers on the bottom screen. Uh, yeah. 
So I think you've missed. So this is the last burger. And you have lettuce. You need tomato. tomato. Thanks oh, for tomato. Jeez. Smack in your face. No, I'm not getting it now. Ugh, terrible. So, and losing, <laughs> because it went off the conveyor yeah, belt. Yeah, I lost everything. You only had eight performance points left, so you went down Yeah, but if, if you don't get a lid for it, you're screwed. Most of the time, you only get the burger top when you've created a burger. So mm. so it'll fall off if if a burger top doesn't suddenly pop up because you've created another burger. So you have to actually so. use a burger top from another burger. Yes, in order to do it and, ho and hope another one comes up. Yes. Yeah, so that's why screwing up just really you're, messes, you're just messed you're up. up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That makes it really tough. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. The first level is pretty easy. Because <laughs> there's only one condiment. Um, yeah, the first level I was able to get 50 points still. Keep my 50 points and get all 12. I think it only gave you 4,000? I think it was 4... Yeah, it was 4,000. So you would have to do that um, 13 times. 13, is it four, three? Oh no. Let's see. I'm gonna estimate it's 4,000. How many times? So 11, 12 times, 12 times. 12 perfect rounds you have to get. Not messing up. Actually, no, because you get more points because there's more condiments on um, upper levels. They're not that much more points, it's only five five extra points so still you need uh, 12 rounds 12 yeah 12 rounds 12 of not messing rounds. up or slightly more than that if you or, do. or slightly more not much more so really level 13 definitely yeah and I, I don't know what level I looped around on where it went back to single condiments. It was like around six yeah, or seven. Six level, something like that. Yeah. Suddenly you got a lot of single condiments in a row. Yeah. I mean, that could have been possibly a coincidence, but... It could have been, but it seemed very deliberate. And I don't think the conveyor belt got faster at any point. So, you know, maybe it is possible that I could complete this. Yeah, you can just keep practicing. <laughs> yeah, because if it if it gets harder and harder, then it kind of resets and makes it easier again. Then that's completely possible. So you have one more to get, and uh, you've done perfect actually this time. Yeah, easier. absolutely perfect. Once you get used to it. And it lets but you it's the single. Score. It's single. Uh, Still. Yeah. You didn't drop. Single condiments. Once you have multiple, there's a lot to. So maybe it's three thousand. Yeah. 3,200, so it's more. I'm going to get on my yeah. calculator. 3,245. Mm. Where's my calculator? Come on, you can do it. 3, oh, no. 3,245. As a rough estimation. Oh, 13.8. So 14 levels you have to complete. Smash it with your face. I didn't mean to. You've got to smash it with your belly. The conveyor moved faster when it lo looped around. Looked around? Looped? It does go fast along oh, yeah. the top. Very, very fast along the top, but then it slows down. Choose so the top conveyor belt's a lot faster than the vertical conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. And when I posted this on Facebook, somebody said they were going to be making a game like this, but like air force related somehow air force related. <laughs> i don't know uh, he didn't elaborate on that but um maybe it's like putting together parts mm -hmm. of of something but he said he was going to make it a horizontal conveyor belt rather than a mm -hmm. vertical conveyor belt oh. which makes the game oh. um I keep realizing there's a blank one, and I'm like, oh, wait, no, <laughs> you do want the top. Yep. I lost one. Yeah, you Jeez. did. Oh, the smashing it into your stomach is really annoying. <laughs> Smooshing your burgers. Oh, don't smush the burgers. <laughs> it is not that. Stop it. Stop oh, it. Not your face, your tummy. 
Bounce it with your stomach. Boing. Ugh, terrible. Yeah, you wanted to put it on that bottom one and get rid of it, if anything. It's really hard to get rid of them. It really is because you're yeah. waiting for a top. Yay. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> why does it have to make level. it so, so terrible? So this is level two. Yeah. So I missed two full burgers. Yeah. So you won't get, you'll miss 200 points. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And then whatever points I've lost along the way too. Well, you just, you don't lose points. You just don't gain the points. You lose um, life, I, really, I guess. Because this is like a, um, it's an unusual game in the fact that there are no lives. It's the, he called it a performance rating. Because mm. um, usually in these types of games, it's lives. Um, and mostly like flying games are like fuel. This is kind of like a fuel, fuel amount. I think you can catch it with any part of your body. Can you? No. Oh no, no. you smush no. it. That's right. You definitely smush it. <laughs> if it's the wrong part of your body. It does get hectic with three or four ingredients. That's for sure. It's hard to keep track of like, okay, what is it that I need? Yeah. Oh, good. You got that one done. Mm -hmm. Oh, I smush the tomato. That's why I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, why? Why? Why do you have to be so troublesome? <laughs> <sighs> that would... Uh, Stop smushing things. That would make the game more enjoyable. I think if, if, if this was a homebrew game, I would have suggested don't make it smash on your head. <laughs> like... You either catch it or you bounce it, no matter where it hits you. That's what I would have said if I was um, making this, like telling the person how to make it. Like if Gary was a homebrew maker, yeah. I'd be like, it's too frustrating, smashing it on your head. But games are supposed to be challenging. No, what <laughs> happened? I thought I picked it up. Nope. Oh my goodness. No, oh good. my goodness. I'm just smashing them all over the place now. Yeah, you can't lose that burger. No more mistakes. Oh, man. Oh. Did I die? Oh, no. No, one more. Oh, smush him. I don't even want that one. <laughs> uh, You're done. I'm done. Yeah. yeah one more game 75. for me. 75. <laughs> but this game does give you a little bit of time between mm. pressing reset, which most games don't do that. Yeah, for. that is nice. They just go, oh, you're in the action. Yeah. That was kind of you smart. gotta get the jingling. Don't want that. I do want that. Jeez. Give me a top. Where's my coffee? No, no, don't run. <laughs> he's, he's like, trouble! Run! He thinks he's getting fed. Oh my goodness, it's not even close to being feeding time. That cat loves his food. Oh my god. <laughs> Onion with nothing. And going to the green. Oh, you captured a cat. We'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. Got an Atari. Atari Got an cat. Atari and a oh. pixel strewn on my toes. Because you smacked his head. I didn't smack his head. Accidentally. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Or he looked. He put his head up and it hit your foot and he's like, I'm going to bite that foot. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, he's not too happy with me. No cheese. All onions. All onions. Onion burger sounds good right now. Mm-hmm. It's definitely suggested. We usually don't put onions on our burgers, do we? Uh, you don't always have onions. So but you have to chop up an onion to get a few rings if you're only making two burgers. I like diced. Like do you? That's yeah. very McDonald's. <laughs> it is. Very McDonald's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, the diced, the diced onions, the single little slice of pickle. 
Yeah. God, it's been a long I do time. Like pickles it's on been it a too. long time since I've had a McDonald's burger, I have well, to say. Yeah. <laughs> but it has more surface areas um, to the to the onion to flavor. To the onions, yeah. It's just I'm more. Sure, I'm sure some food flavor. scientists figured that out, you yeah. know, in the '70s, and they've been doing it ever since. Just get an onion. Last one. Lost two points though. Oh no! <sighs> just two. I should have the exact same. Score. 32. Yeah, because these are all single condiment. What are they called condiment? Single, um, 3250. Mm -hmm. Close. Just Why are these sniffies? So sniffy. Trouble. Trouble. Can I smell the other cat? Oh, stop it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Come on, be nice. So, no. Swish, swish. Yeah, you can see the swishing tail. It's not happy with Cheese or by itself. Uh, Does the conveyor belt move when you're off the screen? Uh, yes, because burgers fall off the screen when you're on the other screen. Oh, do they? Uh, yeah, they sure? go. They make a beeping noise when when that happens, oh. and that happened. That Onion. does has happened. Yeah. Okay, so you want to go back as quickly as possible then. Mm-hmm. And drop it and like leave immediately. Yeah. No! Smoosh! Smoosh that food! No. Smoosh it good! I stepped on it! Stepped on the lettuce. An onion or cheese? Onion. <laughs> there you go. Hi! Oh, he's settled down. Oh, amazing. No tomatoes! Yes, topping. Of the burger, bread. Yes, cheese with lettuce or nothing. It's going to give me nothing. It usually wants to complete. Depends what comes, comes next. It does. Almost always does that. Yeah, not it always. almost always tries to complete it. But, but if you always. miss the top, then you're screwed because it might never so come back. Screwed. You're so screwed. And I go. need a top or a lettuce. It's a red. Lettuce and cheese or tomato. No. Yes. Going fast really helps because then you have lots of time. No! Put it on the upper one there. I don't need it there. It doesn't matter. Don't oh. put it on your lettuce. What are you doing? Why did you put it on your lettuce? I need a lettuce. You or... won't get a top. I will. Oh, you wanted a lettuce. You just kicked it. Oh my god. You need I need this. I need yeah. this. I need that. Damn it. So many points lost. Aww. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible on such an early level. <laughs> terrible. Aww. Yeah. Oh, does a shorter shorter version of the tune? Oh! oh! See? Smushin'! Smushin' the food! And that. Smush it. And I need the top. Oh, they're cleaning each other. Okay, need a little... Oh, stop it! It never gives you a top when you don't need it. Yes. Right? So if you see a top, get it and... Don't need that. Need anything else. Lettuce and then cheese and onion. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Oh, I'm wasting my time. Uh, lettuce. Oh my god. Uh, no. I need an onion and I need a what? Lettuce. lettuce. And I need an onion and a cheese. Your feet can catch it, I think. Mm, I don't know. Uh, you have to be, it just can't hit you in the face. Don't need that. I need a cheese. Or a lettuce. A lettuce will work too. Yeah. 
I don't need an onion. I do need a cheese and a tomato. I'm getting the hang of it because then it narrows it. Once you get the first thing, it mm -hmm. narrows down what you else you need to get. And then that's all you need to concentrate on. And then that is a cheese. And really, you really only want to do one burger at a time. Oh, yeah. Not making mistakes. If you try to try to do multiple, that's where you... Well, then it's out of control. You're all over. Yeah. That was good. <sighs> Working good myself. Job. Thank you very much. No mistakes there. <laughs> Cats are fighting off, off camera. Off camera fighting. Cat fight. Because they think it's dinner time for some reason. I don't know. They always fight before dinner. Yeah. <laughs> They're like really going at it. <laughs> move it move it to where people can see you. Yeah. Fight. Yeah. Be cute. Oh, I need a lot. Oh, yeah. I everything. Need... That needs everything. Everything? Everything. Yeah. Tomato, lettuce. You need an onion and a cheese. Or that. Uh, yeah. Because it wouldn't give me sure. that. Too many things. Tomato, I need an everything. And a lettuce. And a cheese and an onion. Four is too many. <laughs> Four is too many to keep track of. Onion, onion and, and a tomato. A lettuce, any yep. of the, anything. Yep. Onion again, yeah, that's mm -hmm. fine. And a tomato is good. That works. Keep it to one burger at a time. Mm -hmm. And I need a cheese and an, an onion. onion. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. They send me the wrong stuff all the time. Yeah. Terrible sous chefs at this restaurant. That's right. And an onion and a tomato. Yeah. An oh, or anything. I don't know. Oh. No, come on. Onion. Come on. There you go. And then a topping or a cheese. Now I'm behind. They're taking so damn long. This needs everything. Mm -hmm. Now I need an onion and a cheese. Now I need an onion. onion. Just an onion. Thank you. Topping, <laughs> bread, and a cheese, and then an onion, onion and, a and a tomato. No! 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 Tomato, oh my god. Come on. Getting really far behind, people. <laughs> an onion Demanding and a tomato. A tomato. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> no onions. No onions. Tomato. No and lettuce, or a tomato and nothing, apparently, because that is always a given. Okay, and a lettuce. And a cheese. Or and a cheese. Oh, yeah, okay. that would have worked. There you go. Oh, shorter one's actually better. Um, yes, cheese. cheese. Oh. Whoa, did it? No, oh, you didn't happened? want that. You didn't want that. You oh, put an no. onion on. You kicked the cheese, and you took the onion. It's too late. You're dead. I can put that on. I can't put that on. You don't lose anything. Just kick them. Just kick them all. You're going to lose it anyway. Oh, I can put a cheese on. No, but there's an onion on it. Yeah, but I could pick up a cheese for five points. I don't, I don't, do you? And is it the it, points at the top or is it the number? Uh, points. Points, okay. But I don't lose anything. Yeah. I do not. Onion, onion, onion. <sighs> Back, looped around. Onions all the time. Looped around the easy level again. Yeah. It's like level four or five. No, onions only. They like their onions in this restaurant. <laughs> they do. Obviously, no one here has a lettuce onion allergies. Or onion, or lettuce, or onion. Do I have onions? I guess they're pretty strong. strong People do flavors. have allergies to onions, I think. Yeah. Lettuce. Yeah, it is looped around. Yeah. It's like it suddenly, pretty quickly, it suddenly too. becomes single. Oops. No. Lettuce. Yeah, punishing me. It's like, like here, yeah. have a whole bunch of stuff you don't need. Because you rejected the wrong thing. Oh, cheese, cheese, or onion. Mm -hmm. Cheese. I don't know. Do you think it's going faster? I think it might be. Just a little bit All faster onions. because it reset. All the time. Yep. Oh, tomato one. There you go. So in this restaurant, you can do the orders out of order. <laughs> it's totally fine. As long as fine. people get their food eventually. And they get it pretty fast. Oh my god. Onion. Uh, There's your onion. There. 
Yep. See, now what do you do? No, you'll get a topper. Yeah. But Just now do it on the behind. bottom. That's okay. I wonder what happens. Wonder there you go. Ah, okay, it does give it to you. So you can get Eventually. a little behind. One more one on you. Oh, I see. Because I dropped it down. Mm. So you can do that. It's awkward, but it's possible. Getting there. Oh, 20. Almost. Almost halfway. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah. No tomatoes. Onion and Cheese nothing. or nothing, yeah. Or lettuce as well. Um, an onion and then a cheese or lettuce. I did the thing one time that you lettuce. did. You thought you caught it. Yeah. What did I put on? A lettuce? Yeah. Um, Has to be an onion. onion. Too bad it doesn't narrow down. No. It orders once you put something on it. Tomato and onion. But, yeah. Once you get good at it, you don't really mess up too often. Put on. Oh my god. A lettuce, lettuce and an onion. Um, a cheese, cheese and, and an, an onion. onion yeah. Good. Nice and quick. A lettuce and a tomato a, or, or an, an onion. onion. Yeah. Oh, get on there. Don't have time for this. And then a tomato. Cheese and a tomato. And an onion, yes. That. And then there's a plain burger or oh. nope. nope. Plain burger. Nice mm -hmm. and quick. Catch up a little bit. And tomato and an onion. I think the conveyor belt is moving faster. It does seem As to be. Because each time it loops around to the easy part, yeah. it'll move just a, a bit, faster bit faster down. That makes sense. Halfway! Woo. Good luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lane? two nothing burgers. Or? You know that saying, right? Two nothing burgers? A nothing burger. Which means it's it's doesn't mean any. Oh my god. Do you put that top? That? No, on the top, on the top. On the top. Oh, it's doing them out of order. Like it's doing. Oh, it offered a top. It offered a top because you could put it on the. Yeah, and that works. Okay. There you go. No nope. tomatoes. No tomatoes. And a nothing. And nothing. Which is a nice quick one to do. Onion, alone. either cheese Onion or alone. alone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. No tomatoes. Uh, lettuce and an onion and a cheese. Oh. <laughs> the cheese. 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 Now I'm in trouble. Now you need a cheese. Or a tomato. And an onion and, and a lettuce. lettuce. Nope. Nope. Oh, you need the lettuce. And the cheese alone. Oh, no. Lettuce. Oh, too late. I don't lettuce. still need one. Cheese alone. Oh. Really? Yeah. That at the bottom, it's too late. Oh, sweet. What do I need? Lettuce and onion. <laughs> lettuce and onion. There you go. There you go. Phew. Oh, I'm so in trouble. And then a cheese. See, you start smooshing them when you get frustrated. Smoosh, 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 smoosh. That's hard. I just made some mistakes. Okay. 26 is pretty good. A little bit of practicing, I'm sure. Yeah. Because it's the same pattern. You just have to kind of get into the zone. Cheese is sliced. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I get to a point with these games, it's like, no, I can never make it. Then I come to, <laughs> Then I get to this and like... Maybe I can make it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think you that. could. I think, I think you just I could. Yeah. It's the same pattern over and over again. You just have to kind of get it in the is. zone. I am more of a distraction. I think. I think playing this on your own. Yeah. 
would be well or just silent yeah just, <laughs> just silent or you just get used to it and yeah because once you start listening to the other person oh it confuses you you're done yeah you just rely on that person and you ignore what's on the screen yeah um but i might be able to get it done in another session mm. yeah but we're gonna do mega mania next time though like mega mania yeah. really yeah oh. not, not this one okay <clears throat> that's a shooter I should do better, but it might be a higher threshold, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot harder. You know, the game might be your type of game, but it doesn't mean you can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that is it, I think, for today, because mm -hmm. I think we're still pretty far from the end of this. Yeah. But we're getting better. <laughs> Some of us have just started, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, next episode's going to be on Wednesday. And we're gonna. I've got one thing scheduled so far. It's Music Attack by Z C V H. He's got four four letters, um, mm -hmm. and he's made a kind of a four way attack game with musical notes, and you have to block the notes, and it oh, and it plays cool. a song as you block them. Cool. Which is which is pretty cool. It's really hard. Mm. And he just put it out like yesterday. Oh, really? Or today. He just started on it. Oh, very cool. It sounds like he'd been working on it for a while. Mm. Um, so that's going to be fun to try that out and see how uh, see how that is. Oh, let's get rid of that. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, like I said, Mega Mania is going to be next Friday with Darcy. With Darcy? At noon. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I have to get forty-five thousand again with that one. I don't know mm. how hard that is, but I it seems have to be played a magic a, number. I've played a lot of Mega Mania. Yeah, a lot. Okay. In my life. So you're you're thinking so you I, might have a chance. I am fairly confident. Okay. I was very not confident with this game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I knew it was challenging. Yeah, it is. It but is Mega hard, Mania, yeah. I think I have a good chance. Oh, that's good. And then we'll come back to this maybe the next Friday, or schedule another one in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got a lot of games that I want to get done, and Boulder Dash is on its way to oh, me. Oh, yeah. yes, Andrew Davies, Boulder Dash, Tom Yench, nice. Yench. Um, so we'll be playing that. That's a thing I've been <laughs> wanting to play for a long time, but it's been sold out. Yeah. But I've been able to get a copy of it, thankfully. Oh, good. But I'm going to practice that one quite a bit, off, offline, because it's. I've never been really good at it. Mm. It's a really, really cool game. Mm. You're underground. You're kind of digging through dirt. Okay. Um, it's it's like a side view of dirt. So there's it's vertical. You know. Okay. Things can fall down. Okay. There's gravity. Yeah, yeah. So it's a slide slice. Like, like an ant house. Like an ant house. Yeah, I was yeah. just going to say that, like an ant house. And there's things that can fall on you, like boulders. Okay. So if you dig dirt out... The boulder It'll can fall, fall on you. Okay. And you have to get a bunch of diamonds on each level. Okay. So it's more of a puzzle game. Yes, yeah, like Aardvark. Yeah, it's like a slice of uh, slice of dirt like yeah. Aardvark. Yeah. Exactly, RC70. Yeah. RC7. Yeah, I said it right. RC70. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's things that roam the, the underground, and sometimes they're trapped. Mm -hmm. And you can accidentally let them out, or you have to let them out on purpose and drop a boulder on them, and gotcha. then they turn into diamonds. Okay. But you can't get hit by them or the or you're, boulder. You're done. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And it is Sounds simple. Yeah. An absolute astonishment that this was made on the Atari 2600 without a coprocessor. Co yeah. It is, and things are moving because other things move. Like a boulder falls, and that frees up another boulder, and then they're both falling, and it has to continually check the screen of what it needs to do because mm. of something else so it's unbelievable the programming that went into cool. this it i'm is, excited yeah <laughs> it sounds like a fun game but it's long been sold out mm. long okay and there was not many copies made 200 or something mm. um learn how to look ahead in boulder Dash. oh i see yeah yeah you do have to kind of think ahead a couple moves yeah. because things you do affect other things mm. What is the name of the game you're talking about? Boulder Dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it is with a um, space, though. Boulder, space, dash. Mm. Not one word, mm. but maybe I'm mistaken. Um, um, let me just confirm that, actually. Yes, it is Boulder, space, dash. 
And it was made by Andrew Davey. It says Dave at the top there. Mm. And Atari H. <laughs> Somebody made us mistake and never corrected it. Uh, and Thomas Yench. Um, Boulder Dash licensed homebrew from First Star Software. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a licensed game that is still held by a company. Wow. And that's why they can't just keep making it. Because they can't was, keep producing it. But I'll yeah. get well into that. And Andrew, okay. Andrew David will be here. Oh, cool. Okay. And I'm sure Thomas Jens will make it. I'll make sure both of them can be here okay. well, for that episode. It. Cool. And that will be kind of soon. Okay. Because that's going to arrive in days. Yeah. Then I'll be practicing it yeah, because nobody wants to watch me flail around for an hour, <laughs> dropping boulders like, on my head. Like, uh, like playing the last game. We just yeah. Played pressure I got cooker. better. I got better. Yeah, yeah. I think that score is not. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. No, no. Um, it beats a bunch of world records on. I mean, world records. It's oh, not many I see. entered in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. the world record was like a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand. Really. It's not high. Mm. It's a hard game, but it gets yeah. faster and faster. Yeah. Um, but uh, Boulder Dash has a whole section. Oh, let's get off that. Boulder Dash has a whole section in the Atari Age forums on the development of Boulder Dash. So I'll be delving into that as well, doing some research, getting information on the background from Andrew Davy and Thomas Yentz. So nice. there'll probably be a whole episode, actually. Cool. Because yeah. there's a lot. It's a good a game. To talk it's about. a varied game. Yeah. It, it's got tons of levels so each level is it's a puzzle game too puzzle actioner yeah so we'll see how the timing goes it'll probably be a morning show i'm sorry um because uh, I can thomas, do about that. thomas <laughs> yench yeah. is in europe yeah um can't remember what country but he's in europe so he mm. would need not this time yeah. he's sleeping no. right now no. it's three in the morning four yeah. in the morning yeah yeah over there yeah. hey arena foot you missed everything <laughs> <laughs> last wrapping up of the show um i got halfway to pressure cooker um so i am confident that i will get the patch but not today no um actually yeah we'll do a wrap up now um galagon we played for a little bit yeah, just always to show awesome yeah tanya um we Love probably it. won't play it again until it's, final it's release. about to be released. Yeah. Okay. We won't play it online because I played it to death. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing big has changed for you guys out there to mm -hmm. see it. So it's like, I'm sure you've had enough of it for now. <laughs> played it a lot of times. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll play it probably one more time before Portland Retro Gaming Expo, mm -hmm. before it's released, um, to hype it up and promote it for because mm -hmm. it's going to go on Whoever sale. Wants it, yeah. Yeah. And then we played Mini Sokoban, which I might... I, I kind of want to go. It's definitely not the most um, enthralling streamed active game. Active game to play on a stream because it's just a puzzler. So and the yeah. problem Fun, also though. with it is you have to concentrate, so you can't yeah. talk. No, well, one person could talk. You have to be thinking steps ahead. You're almost yeah. working it backwards. If so that you makes can't sense. talk yeah. and play that game yeah. at all. No, no. So not I might easily. ban puzzle games from the stream. <laughs> no, or so, no. I like puzzle games. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, oh, I'll make um I'll make an all puzzle game day and just get them all done in one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plow, plow through them. I wanted to play along, but you stopped by the time I found the wrong. <laughs> oh, the pressure cooker, or yeah, pressure cooker. Yeah. Or, no, they're wrong. Yeah, it must be pressure cooker. Yeah, yeah, because I have the actual cartridge here. It mm. is destroyed. That cartridge. Yeah. It's really bad copy. No, the puzzle. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be good. A team effort kind of <laughs> puzzle. Yeah. Everybody play yeah. along. Okay, do this. Do that. Yep. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is directing you what to move next. Yep. Right? Yeah. Then we played Pressure Cooker. Mm. Um, awesome graphics in that. Oh, and yeah. Animation. Yeah, it's a good game. High action. Oh, my God. It's high action. Yeah. <laughs> Very tough, but mm -hmm. you can get the hang of it. it. Takes a little bit to kind of understand the management mm. of what you have to do. And you have to do really quick rejections of food, too, yeah. to get the one you want. Um, so, good. Uh, all, all three were good mm -hmm. in their various ways. Um, yeah, so let's say goodbye to everyone. RC70, Arena Foot, Ice Bosta, uh, Katarine and Twitch. Um, that's a new person. Yes. Welcome. Yes. Uh, Mr. Fix, who got his one-year badge. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the one year of donations. Yeah. Um, Packrat VG. Uh, 
who else we're chatting? C64 Television. C64 Television, who I've never seen before, I don't think. Yeah. S. Ramirez, 2008. Eight. Real, Real Max, Max Power, Power, which I might have seen before. Yeah. Probably uh, from the oh, stream. Oh, yes, because yeah, they're the talking about hour? the Galaga frame. Yeah. Or, or from, from last, yeah, episode. last episode. Um, are you supposed to? Are you supposed to, yeah. Uh, Mallard, Mallard Games. Games, who was here in the beginning. Yep. Uh, Splendid Nut. Mm-hmm. And uh, that yeah, is Yeah, I it. think that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so thank you everybody for stopping by. I think just about all of the auction items have been sent out. Oh yeah. There's two more to go. Cool. And then an additional two that aren't finished yet. Mm. Galaga and uh, Gold Rush. So those will be shipping out in the fall. And the people who have bid on those understand that. Mm. So it's fine. They're all cool with that. Um, and uh, yeah, again, the... Uh, Stellathon did very well. Very well. Really well. Raised $3,000. Uh, yeah. Canadian dollars. Really good. Canadian. And you have to add that in Canadian I do. Dollars. Because pe <laughs> people were in the in the forums were going, Ch -ch 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 -ch, what is it in US dollars? Yeah. <laughs> I only say it in Canadian because we're Canadian. So that's what it shows on, on eBay, right? And Stephen Anthony is Canadian. The person oh, who's receiving the money. I see. Yeah. And also I listed everything as Canadian dollars. Okay. So yeah. It just makes sense. Yeah. If it was sense. raising money for somebody in the U.S., it would make sense more more sense. You just need to convert. Yeah. It doesn't really convert. matter. <laughs> Divided by uh, one point three. Yeah. Actually, the Canadian dollar is better. Is yeah. it? Is it? Yeah, it's one point three instead of one point five. Oh. So that's very good because I'll be going to the U.S. Yeah. Very again and shortly. Again and again and yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Very shortly. So for many things. <laughs> so I hope it just keeps going down. Down, 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 down. Sorry, Americans. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't affect them unless they're buying well, from Canada. But we buy, yeah. we as consumers buy a, a lot, lot of American more goods. from yeah. the U.S. Yeah, that's true. Than consumers in the U.S. buy, buy from Canada. Canada. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're probably not buying a lot of uh, maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> hey, maple syrup's pretty tasty. S trees, I guess. Yeah. In the bigger scope, but <laughs> <Trees>. like con <laughs> consumer items, you're not buying maple trees. Maple syrup and trees. Um, yeah. What else? With the craft dinner, I don't know. Beer, beer. yes, uh -huh. yeah, Canadian, yes, there's a lot Canadian of beer. a lot of good Canadian beer, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's craft and stuff, but well, craft stays local. Craft brewery tends beer. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. What other big Canadian items? I don't know. There's, I'm sure there's lots. National items that if you, people If would you buy. need nickel for anything, we have nickel mines. Yeah. <laughs> RC70, oh, 50 minutes from the border. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine beer's cheaper in Canada. No, I don't think so. People. Alcohol in general unless, is expensive in unless Canada. Unless they so. live close to Ontario, where there's a dollar beer. Oh, dollar beer. no. Did they even do that? They I did. don't think they did. They did they really? Did. Oh, my yeah. God. Dollar garbage beer. Doug, Doug Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, anyway, yeah. no, but the drinking age is lower. Ah, yes. that's the key. Very true. It's 19. 19 or 18. Eight, 18 depending 19. on where you are. I think that's the only yeah, Oh, President's Choice Brands items. Oh, yes. you guys know about that? Yeah. <laughs> the President's Choice is really Some good. Some of them are pretty good stuff. Yeah. And yeah, they're cheaper because there's just no branding. Yeah. We used to sell the cookies and cola. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. Very yeah. cool. PC is a good brand. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I only know one game we're going to be playing on Wednesday, but I will line up a bunch of other good games as well mm -hmm. for next episode because I've got a lot on the back burner ready to go on um, a ton. You've, you've loaded it up. You know what you're playing each uh, week? Oh, well, I don't know what I'm playing each week, but I have a bunch that I... That you're slot, that slotting I, in. That I thing. can just go drop in nice. at any moment. But nice. I usually wait for the very last minute to announce unless i really know because games come up yeah all of yeah. a sudden it's like oh a new game yeah like here here's yeah. a new game i really I, want I to want, play this and yeah. i want to play it as soon as possible on the stream because to get excitement for the yeah. people who are developing it yeah. yeah oh back in the 80s and 90s yeah <laughs> um yeah so yeah i think that's about it for now don't want to delay it too much longer. So everybody have a good weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific time um, for another show with uh, Airline. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Bye, -bye. Bye everyone.